put on the makeup and robe And that's why he virtue signals loudly That's why he virtue signals loudly Justin Trudeau He thinks he has a turban He's always playing dress up but he is just a racist. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Justin Trudeau, man. All the virtue signaling in the world. Now you know why. That that makes you guys, it makes me wonder what else this creepy bastard has done in his life, bro. All right? Makes me wonder, how, what, it makes me wonder what else Justin Trudeau has done. What a sick piece of shit he is. What a sick bastard Justin Trudeau really is. This guy virtue signaled about everybody else and their mother about Halloween costumes and offensive things and all these things. Meanwhile, he did blackface and brownface. So he felt guilty about that, and that's why he projected himself on other people. Unbelievable. Colonizer. Uh, now, these two Arab people next to him don't seem to have a problem, like you said, because it's just a fucking dress-up Halloween costume. I mean, obviously, in the end, I don't have a problem with people dressing up. I, 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 you know what? I would love if guys did, if people did whiteface. I think that's fucking hilarious when people do whiteface. Who gives a shit? Brown face, white face, green face, who gives a fuck? Dude, how funny is it when you see a dude dress up like a white guy? Remember when Dave Chappelle used to make fun of white people when he would be the white news anchor and he'd be like, Oh, well, uh, I'm uh, Dave Chappelle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a... Uh, there were 33 people arrested today. Like, it was... Like, that shit was fucking hilarious, man. If you didn't think that was funny, you're a fucking idiot. Like, you know what I mean? And if you don't think people dressing up like other people's races and, like... Doing comedy isn't funny. Like, come on, man. Plus, he was in a fucking, you know, he was in a goddamn, uh, you know, a party or whatever. So he was just trying, Trudeau was just trying to, uh, you know, get over, you know, get over, win the thing. It's probably other people dressed up the same way, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. Why, but here's what I want to know. Why was the other people, why were the other, the other people weren't upset about it? So what's there to apologize how come Trudeau didn't just come out and say, hey, listen, everybody at the party loved it, and this is just something people do, and um, now now everybody has a problem with it because we see there's a, it's offensive to people now. But back then, it wasn't offensive to people now. But the problem is maybe it was offensive to some people, and people didn't speak up then, but now they do, so now it's bad. I don't know, bro. What's the answer? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But yeah, Justin Trudeau, what a fucking asshole. What a fucking asshole. Trudeau is such a fucking double standard butthole. Yeah, white people think Indians are Arabs, Awandi. That's true. Yeah, Awandi, you you just have to deal with it, bro. You just gotta you just have to realize most people in this in especially in the US, people dude, people don't know the difference between like a Sikh and a Muslim. Nobody knows, dude. Somebody put something on their head that isn't a fucking baseball cat or a cowboy hat or did I say cat? A cowboy hat or a baseball cap? If somebody doesn't put a baseball cap on or a cowboy cap, hat, whatever, we don't fucking know a Wandy. You know, Sikh, Muslim, we can't figure it out. We're fucking, you know, we only, we're very like inward thinking. We think about us over here and that's about it. That's why like other people will be like, oh, don't you know that this, whatever. Like there's a, there's probably a lot of Americans and younger people too, where you're like, oh, you know, Oh, we're going to go watch the football game in, in England or whatever. And the kids are like, football, isn't this soccer? And you're like, yeah, but you know, it's England, so it's football. And then the kids would be like, what? Like, they don't even know that it's called football. You know what I mean? Like, it's like people, people are all jacked up over here. We're stupid, man. We are dumb. Come on. We're a little bit stupid. Thanks, Mike, for subscribing. How you doing, Mike? It's been good to hear from you this weekend. I normally have co-hosts on the show, but like I said, man, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Dave Rose, I think he fell asleep, man. I think Dave Rose only does drama shows now. If it ain't drama, Dave Rose don't do it. Um, and like I said, I think um, we scared everybody off. Uh, we scared everybody else off on the fucking thing. I will take phone calls though, as always on the show, of course. Shout out to Mike. What's up? Yeah, Wanda, you guys are dumb too. We're all dumb. I'm just fucking humans are stupid. You know, that's all there is to it, and that's really what it rounds up to be. Super chat. 
party. Super chat. Give us the tongue, Joe. Tongue it up, baby. You want tongue. me to tongue it up? You want me to tongue it up for you? Are you serious? Real tactics? Are you serious right now, bro? You want me to tongue it up for you? I will tongue it the fuck up for you, bro. I will straight up play some goddamn Tupac. I don't give a shit. Come and get me, YouTube. Come and fucking get me, YouTube. I'm ready to play some Tupac tonight. I'm in the. I'm feeling like Tupac tonight. So what's up in the chat? The football game didn't work out, huh? Football game's not working out too well tonight. I thought so. Anyway, let's go to Trudeau apologizing for brownface, blackface, or whatever the fuck it is. And uh, let's laugh at this idiot uh, who fucking tells everybody else not to do bad things, but then does this himself, but who really gives a shit, but okay. 2001, uh, when I was a teacher out in Vancouver, I attended an end-of-year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. Gala. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. Oh, my God. I done that. Oh, my God. Did you guys hear that? Oh, my God. He put makeup on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. In an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. I... You know, he kind of looks like Aladdin a little bit. Should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. I think uh, there are people who've made mistakes in uh, in this life, and you make decisions based on what they actually uh, do, what they did, uh, and on a case-by-case -case basis. I think uh, I uh, deeply regret that we that I did that. Uh, I should have known better, uh, but I didn't. How do you feel about this coming out right now in the uh, obviously, I, I regret uh, that I did it. Uh, it's not about timing. It's about having done something that I shouldn't have done, and I'm really sorry I did. Have you done the only time you've done something like this, Mr. Trudeau? Is that the only time in your life you've ever done something like that? Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Dale in, with, 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 uh, with makeup on. Why is this coming out now? Dale! Me say Dale. Can you imagine him dressing up? Is that what he said? I don't even know if that's what he said. He might have said something else, and I didn't hear what he said. But, uh, man, Arabian Night Party. That must have been a fun time getting fucked in the ass by some guy. When I was a teacher out in Vancouver, I attended an end-of-year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. How fucking... I, I dressed up in uh, Arab uh, Arabian Nights. Uh, fucking, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Imagine a land far away Justin Trudeau would put on blackface where his bum was inside of a song on his mum as she spanked him across his bottom. Another Arabian night. Like, what the fuck, dude? What is wrong with this dude? Anyway, whatever. Ah, oh, man, fucking. I don't know. Aladdin will never be the same to me. Oh, Adam will not. He definitely put too much makeup on. I mean, is he trying to do? I mean, what is this? Like, this does this look like Aladdin to you, dude? He looks like fucking. That doesn't look like Aladdin, bro. Like, he might as well have kept his regular skin tone. Like, what is that? He might as well have kept his regular skin tone. Look at the guys to his left and right. Do they look like that? What was he trying to be like? Wesley Snipes Aladdin? What the fuck? What kind of... This is like double racist, isn't it? I mean, what was he trying to be? Wesley Snipes Aladdin? Fucking weird. His fucking teeth are just sticking out. 908, hello. Yo, Joe, did you hear the guy in the background saying, was that the only time you've ever done something like that? Fucking idiot. Yeah, right. Well, if, if only that guy knew about all the times he's been butt pumped. Yo, this world is so fucking soft. Like, that fucking guy, oh, that's the only guy you've ever done something like, fucking douchebag. Dude, Trudeau should have been like, I'm sorry if people are offended by a costume party from 2001 
where where fucking nobody there had a problem when I did this. No, he should have been like, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, oh God! Imagine that! I'm gonna do it right now. My Dude, my this... my problem is what the fuck is this? Like he paint, he didn't even do anything. He doesn't look Arabic. He looks black. He looks like a black guy, like a black. No, he Arab. does look like a black. Yeah, he does. He does. He looks like a black Arab, but like that doesn't he really? I mean, like what is he doing here? That, that's not Aladdin. That's like this is I mean, like should, this is Kazam. Is what the <laughs> should that picture really affect anybody though? Should it really be offensive? No, I really shouldn't. If this if this bothers you, if this hurts you, like if this bothers you, like you're you you you're a pussy. Like you are some kind of pussy. Like it's almost unbelievable. You're a, you're a cup bag. Yeah, I mean, chances are, like we all live in areas where like people have been like shot or like whatever. There's drug deals going on. Whatever. There's viruses happening. There's rate. There's actual racism going on somewhere. Like this photo is just like a guy in a costume who's a retard. Like I mean, come on. Who's offended? Oh my god! Am I, you know who are you know who are offended by this? Like fucking crazy, mentally ill white people. That's who. People that's, who go to Starbucks. Yeah. Well, no, I don't even think people at Starbucks. Are, <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding, <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> no, yeah, no, it, it is those type of people that are like, like the the weirdly educated like white college students, and then like the really like mentally ill, messed up like white people. Uh, not all white people, but you know, there's some. Some black people, some Asians who get who are SJWs too, but like it's mostly those like annoying fucking white people. It's like, oh my god, it's so offensive. What the fuck is you're it's a fucking the, uh, crybaby? The, uh, oh my god, Brittany, can you believe Adam went to the party? Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, um. Oh my god, Sabrina. Luke Rojas. Hey, what's up? How Listen, you doing? I think it's hilarious. Because my teachers in school are like the most liberal people you can find. And they were all like defending Justin Trudeau. And they're like, wow, I wish he was in America. And he's so unlike Trump. He's not racist. And they were like a bunch of, they're a bunch of virtue signaling uh, losers. And now I <laughs> Imagine if Trump did this. Imagine uh, if Trump did this. Hilarious. Can you imagine if Trump had done yeah, this? Trump Dude, they're gonna they're gonna find a way. The uh, these fucking losers are gonna find a way and be like, well, it's different that he did it because he did it in two thousand and one. That was years ago. Even though liberals pull up shit, I, I don't mean to sound like a fucking Republican because I'm not. But you know these virtue signaling like SJWs mm. bring up shit from people's past from like ten, fifteen years ago, and it's always funny when it happens to them. Bro, can you imagine if a picture of Trump doing blackface comes out? Oh my god! Yeah, you know Trump wouldn't mind. Trump would probably be like, "Yes, I did this. I don't really give a shit." And he'd probably he'd probably be like, "I thought it was funny," and it was. To be honest, um, (laughs) to be honest, uh, Trump does orange face every fucking day. So that's what's. You know, like, because he don't look right, dude. Like, you can see the white around his eyes where the tan happens. It's like, what is a fucking 80 year old guy like Trump or whatever doing getting these tans? He's like, I look good. Like, what the fuck? He looks like a fucking, like, a shriveled up orange. Dude, but whoever, whoever did the work on John Trudeau's, like, face, bro, they did an immaculate job. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about it. And here's he the looks, other thing. He looks like, no offense, but like he does look like black, dude. Like he looks perfect. He looks- yeah, because, dude, look at the guys next to him. Th- that's the color he was trying to go for. That's not right. Like, <laughs> what is this? Like, he should be apologizing for his shitty makeup work. I'm sorry I'm a retard. Like, fucking, I don't look anything like Aladdin. Well, you know. Yeah, no, that's not I, I think. As much as I think Justin Trudeau is a cuck, and I don't, and I think he's an asshole. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he should apologize for it because, I mean, like he said, it's just a costume, and it's well, not like we live made... in the world. We live in that world yeah. where you have to apologize you for all your stuff. World. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm having like a fucking heart attack because I keep shivering, and it's like, I think I'm about to fucking die right now. <laughs> Oh fuck! It's called puberty. It's called puberty. Yeah, 
No, it's called cheeseburgers. Maybe it's Dude, it's like, no, like I picked up the phone and then like I'm outside right now. So maybe I'm just like, I'm just like really shivering for some reason. I'm like, how did this fucking happen? Well, that I happens mean, to me. Dude, so Trump, Trump is still a douchebag, though. He's still a fucking major dirtbag. Yeah, in many ways. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore. Everybody's a douchebag. Everybody running for president is a douchebag. I had to learn about this in my government class, and they're like, who would you vote for on this panel? And I'm like, so, no. So, The Rock running for president, that was just a joke? I, asked, I guess I so. asked, where's Tulsi, where's Tulsi Gabbard? And they, all, and they said, well, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, she's not, they, like, they, they said some kind of virtue signaling, like, disparaging thing about her, because uh, like, the teachers in my school, they're just a bunch of fucking liberal SJWs. Who uh, just love to pander to the Democratic wait, Party, so, and they all wait. All right, hold on, Joe. So The yeah. Rock can't run for president. What made Trump eligible to run for president? What do you mean The Rock can't run? No, The Rock I mean, could you know, run. Everybody says The Rock should be our president. You know, as a joke. But like, what made Trump eligible to be president? Money. I, I mean, uh, yeah. Number well, number one, his fame. Number two, his money. Number three. Uh, his knowledge, to be honest. I mean, let's be honest. We may not. Ag some people may not agree with him, but his 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 knowledge. Whenever you brought up a topic to him, he did answer the question. Not like and know about it. It, it was pretty amazing. Like I was like, wow. I was always waiting for him to be like, um, you know, I don't really know. I haven't had briefed on that. My, you know, but you know, he never did that. He always had an answer for everything. And on top of that, he was able to bully the other fucking loser republicans on stage so all that stuff worked in his favor you know it's crazy dude i kind of miss trump in his on his uh debates oh if we yeah. could get trump on the democratic debates dude we'd be having fucking tv gold especially with biden <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh my god biden got destroyed especially by that fucking hispanic moderator the Hispanic oh, yeah. dude was like, you're stupid, you fucking racist. I don't know why he's talking like an Arabic dude, but still. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, dude. I mean, one of the reasons why Trump was elected, like somebody somebody in the chat's like, racism is why he was elected. You know, you're fucking retarded. But the reason why, one of the reasons why Trump was elected is because a lot of Democrats went, you know, we people voted for Obama for like a couple of years. And then they turned to voting for Trump. They were like, fuck this. They they took Bernie out. Uh, if Bernie had won, if it was Bernie versus Trump, I think Bernie might have beat Trump. But because it was Hillary, all these people went, oh, fuck this. And they bailed. They were like, fuck this shit. They either stayed home or, they, that, or they voted the other way. And now you can't even you can't even trust Bernie because he fucking looked like a bitch. Yeah, Bernie will and just sell it out. Yeah, Bernie will just sell like you a, out and get out of that. If he's like, oh, I don't feel like fucking around here, I'm out of here, you know? It's crazy. He looks like my grandfather. Yeah, dude, I would love Bernie. Imagine Bernie Sanders, like, just, just, imagine Bernie Sanders having sex. Imagine Bernie Sanders just being like, oh, oh, there goes, oh, do it there. Oh, God, yeah. Oh. The fuck, like, uh, like, it would just be fucking crazy. I don't know. He's just pounding one home, and it's, there's Bernie Sanders just getting off on somebody right now. Uh, by the way, <laughs> li listen to this, dude. Teens, they're, they're saying this now, too. They're saying this crazy shit. Teens are not having kids. They're, they're saying, teens are saying this. We're not going to have kids until climate change is addressed. Well, doesn't that solve the problem? Right there? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I can, it's kind of funny. Like, we're not going to, we're not going to have sex. I'm having kids. I'm having kids. No matter what, well, I have to find a fucking girlfriend first. And nobody would want to take my seed but still i'd have well i mean i do have that one kid but he fucking god damn i don't want to talk about it but listen it's like <sighs> fucking i'm not gonna have kids until climate climate change is addressed or is is solved like i don't get it <laughs> oh my god dude hey tommy get your ass on the show everybody's here looking for you yeah, I told Tommy to call up. All right, we're getting another phone call. Let me take the phone call. 865. I just started. Oh, God. We, it's Tommy. Uh, 865, hello. 
Are we going to raid, hey, gonna raid Sean Area Montgomery. 51? It's Sean Montgomery, what's up? Montgomery, what's up, Montgomery? Hey, man, I'm just tuning in. What's going on? What's been up, man? How you been? I've been all right. Just working my ass off, making that money. Hell yeah, baby. I mean, listen, we were going to be on my other channel tonight, but I came over here. And um, I decided to go live on this yeah. one because there's a lot of shit to talk about. The raid is tomorrow. It's gonna be nuts. Are you going? Are I'm you going? I'm wondering how they're gonna if they're gonna kill people like through microwave like radiation or snipers or I like. I thought the raid was canceled. I don't know, man. They're saying that people are still thinking about doing this thing. I don't know. Is that Luke? Yeah, it's Luke Rojas on the phone. Yeah. Luke, he's my boy. I love listening to that guy. Yeah. You love him? I thought he was going to shit on me real quick. You can have him, man. We can yeah, have him. Okay. Uh, get, ah. on get, get off me on Twitter. Marcos in the chat. What's been up, man? What's up, dude? Yo soy tu papi. Fucking buenos noches. Yo soy tu papi. You know it. You know it, man. Open up. How dare you? Joe, oh, my God. Appropriate my culture. I can't believe this. We have another idiot, another white person who thinks it's okay to wear white face. What an asshole. Look at this asshole who's on the phone right now. Who is this? Who are you, sir? Joe, what are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my God. Who Not are you? Tommy. It's me, Tommy. It's, tw it's Ramirez. Why are you, like, chewing on your face as you're looking at the camera like an idiot? Have you been in that makeup all day? Are you going to answer me, Tommy? Tommy or are you just going to make dumb faces? No, I, I, Crystal helped me put this on. She, she did the you, makeup. Who's Crystal? Tommy, are you in Joker makeup? No, this is it makeup. This is awesome. oh, even more, You look even like more a, you look like a giant piglet. Tommy, you look like a fag. Hey, I Tommy, did up. you go to, um... Did you go to see It Chapter Two? Is that why you're wearing the makeup? Well, actually, I'll tell you an interesting story about oh. that. I went to go Nobody see It Part Two with the makeup on, and the theater asked me to take the makeup off. Take which, well, I which, wonder what? why. I wonder why. Yeah, they asked me. Wow, I wasn't hurting anybody. Tommy, I walked wow. in with the makeup on <laughs> and wasn't hurting anybody, getting my tickets. And a manager walks up to me, and a lady walks up to me and says, "You need to take your makeup off, sir." And I'm like, "Excuse me, what? Wow. What is it? What is it?" And I'm like, "I'm here to watch a movie." And like, and she's like, "You need to take it off." And I'm like, "You need to take I, it off, I, bitch." Tommy, Tommy, it stinks that you live in North Carolina because you could have been like, if you were in a liberal state, you could have been like, I identify as a clown. Yeah. I'm like, I look at him, I say, listen, you guys have a movie play where you guys have a movie playing here where there's a murdering clown in it. So that's what oh, I'm like stuff like that. You should have punched Tommy, the manager no, in the face. <laughs> Next time, just sock the manager in the face. Just waffle him in the face. Wait, oh, so I was, did they tell you they had like a policy on this? Did they say like, oh, we have a policy oh, on yeah, makeup? They said they had a policy, and plus, the, the, apparently, the, the 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 theater I was at was the exact brand of theater where the Joker shooting happened. The guy. Oh, said I wonder he, why they didn't want you to dress up. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, did you really shave your mustache just for this? Oh my god. Yeah, you shaved your mustache. You can't tell with all that dumb just shit on your this? face. There he goes again, not just making weird faces instead of answering the I'm question. Drunk right now, okay, so I'm so Tommy, keep... Wait, you're drunk? I had... Tommy, I you I, I know you love the um, the It movie. Did you like the It Chapter 2 movie? Yes. I we just did an uh-oh movie review about it. Did you like that copy? I, the, I, I kind of thought the movie stunk. But not. I'm not saying that just because you liked it. I'm saying because I really did think the movie was like... First of all, well, first of all, the, it was it's like... better than the ending to part two in the original where he's a gigantic spider. Well, I mean, it's not hard to beat Yeah, that. but I mean, dude, come on, like, like, you're a stupid head. Like, I mean, come on, man. The movie was like three hours long. 
Um, I know, but it was action packed. There was a lot of action packed parts in it, and like it didn't get. We weren't, bored. in my opinion, I wasn't bored at all watching it. Tommy, every time there was a scary part, every time there was a scary part, the movie would remind you by having a boong sound effect and also shaking the camera like it was like an earthquake. Mm. So you know, not very subtle. Yeah. I mean, it's a movie with spooky clowns made for fat people to like. So I'm no wonder why. Uh, Yo, Luke, oh. Luke, catch your breath, dude. Catch your breath. Yeah, maybe that's why you're going to pass out. Uh, you know, I thought it was interesting. Uh, we were watching the ads, and an AEW ad played. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, that's awesome. What? In, a- the, movie, uh, in the movie theater? At the movie theater, Tommy. dude? Really? That's yes. Awesome. Tommy, they even have ads in the movie theater. That's crazy. Well, they always have ads in the movie theater. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that caller? Who's on the phone? Nine zero eight. Who is the ones talking? Eight six five. John Montgomery. Oh, John. I'm sorry. John Montgomery. Did you watch NXT, Tommy? No, I did not watch NXT. Oh, you're not a real fan then. Well, fuck you then. I you know I watch what I want to watch. Okay. Well, I'll fuck your mother, okay? Oh, man. What the fuck? Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. I don't... Th- oh, you know, okay. Tommy, Tommy, you can definitely watch whatever you want to watch. Just don't pretend to be a fan. That's all. Yeah, exactly. I uh, watch whatever I want to fuck I want to watch. If I want to watch I NXT, watch I'm going to fucking watch NXT. Yeah, you if can I want to watch AEW, I'm going to watch AEW, okay? Well, you don't want to watch it, though. You know, you're still a fan if you're a fan of something, okay? Oh. If you don't watch it all the time, you're still a fan of something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, oh. yeah, that's fine. If but if you're not a fan, don't say you're a fan of it. If you're not, I am a fan of WWE. Yeah, but you're not a fan of NXT though, no, or AEW. No. WWE is all the same product. No, it's not. It's different. Oh. It's a little different. You don't watch NXT. Oh my god. Yeah, he's a loser. <clears throat> Got a crink in my neck. Yeah, you just don't watch NXT. That's okay. Just don't say you watch it. If you said you watch it, like, don't say you watch it when you don't really watch I it. I said you know? I watched NXT. I just, you know. No, recently you were like, oh, I can't wait and everything, but then you didn't watch it, so you, you're not a really a fan I'm of it. Excited. I said I was excited for AEW. Okay, yeah. I don't think you're going to watch that I'm either. So. AEW on yeah, in October. Um, Adam yeah, Cole, we'll, baby. We'll, we'll see. Here's John Montgomery's donation. How about them Cowboys? See ya soon, Patriots. Yeah, Doc. yeah. I got the I got the Cowboys going deep this year, John Montgomery, on the phone with me hey, right now. Hey, thank you, man. I'm. It's gonna be a tough game when we play. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. It, well, it is. I think it is gonna be a tough game. To be honest, I think it's. Believe yeah. it. Believe it or not, like I think it could be one of the games the Patriots have a, a tough time with for sure. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I think it's uh at y'all's place. So yeah, that's that's good for us because we've. But eh. hopefully I'll see you all in the Super Bowl. Yeah, man. I want to be in Super Bowl so I can. You know what I want to do? I want the like the Cowboys mascot. Like every once in a while, there's like a guy who dresses like a cowboy around the stadium just for fun at the Cowboys. And you know the Patriots have yeah. the, pa- the Patriot guy. I want to see the Cowboy uh-huh. guy get raped. <laughs> well, I want to see the Patriot guy get raped. Yeah, well, no, no, you're going to see the Cowboy get raped. He's going to get pounded in his uh, asshole, no. and his asshole is no. going to explode. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. No, I mean, the, the Cowboys maybe, might win the game, but the but the Cowboy mascot is going to be raped. I'm telling you. Well, maybe so, but you know, if we win that game, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that is that. Okay, but but hey, y'all gonna win like every like what 15 games until the Cowboys. So I think we are gonna win. Yeah. Like I think we're gonna win like most of the games or all of them until the Cowboys, and then that's gonna be a tough one. Hey, yeah. Joe, I gotta go. Okay, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a- all right, Tommy. Where are you going anyway? Are you going back out again? I got, I got a, uh, somebody's been trying to call me, so I got to go. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see you, Tommy. I'll see you guys. Stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, Come on, monetize did. this. That makeup on. Here's a clip. You'll float too. You'll float too. You'll float too. That's not a clip. That's, that's just awesome. annoying. That's not a clip. That's, that's annoying. Awesome. God damn, that was annoying. If he had yelled like "I'm a fucking my I'm flaccid," like that would have been a clip. If he yelled "I'm flaccid" or "My dick's broken" or something like that. Anyway. Uh, hey Joe, I, I'm uh <clears throat> I'm gonna holler at I'll holler at you whenever the Cowboys play the Patriots. I'm sure I'll get you I'll get on with you on Twitter. 
Yeah, yeah. And uh, that will be a fun game. I'm I'm nervous about that game, but I think we'll beat the Saints in Miami definitely in this week. Hell and yeah. Y'all whooped them last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. I'm just I'm trying to think about how much to bet on the spread, you know. I think it's like a 22 point spread. <laughs> and they put Josh Rosen in as Jesus. QB. So, I don't think that's going to matter. You know, they just gave up one of their best defensive players to a trade to Pittsburgh is that Minka Fitzpatrick or whatever his name was Bills are going to beat the Patriots <laughs> oh man the Buffalo Bills by the way that's the Buffalo Bills fans every year every year the Buffalo Bills fan the Bills are going to beat the Patriots the Bills are going to win the Super Bowl <laughs> like dude that's the that's the Bills fans every year whenever the Bills finally win the Super Bowl I'm going to like basically treat them like assholes I'm going to be like dude yeah Congratulations! Oh. You said you were going to win every year for the last thirty years, and you didn't. I think they won back in the nineties when my Cowboys were winning. No, the Bills ain't won shit. No, they ain't won the Super Bowl then. Nope, no Super Bowls for the Bills. Oh hell! I thought they did once at least. No, they'll never. No, their win. fucking fans are fucking idiots, man. You yeah, they're the worst. That shit. I used to go like, up. I used to go up to uh, Ithaca College, and of course, you know, it was around the time, you know, I'd have my my Boston stuff on, and people would be like, "Oh, the Patriots, and the Bills," and they'd be like, "The Bills are gonna win, dude." And it's fucking, you guys are crazy. Like, they're that's the biggest fucking re-re demographic. I'm sorry to Bills fans yeah. listening, but you it may, maybe you're, I feel bad. I feel bad that Fox Sports put a Bills fan on the fucking commercial. Yes, for uh, WWE SmackDown. Friday night. Do you not know that going through the table or whatever at a tailgate? It has to be a Bills fan. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. I was like, don't try this at home. Now they're showing people going through the fucking tables at the football <laughs> games. Like, that's dangerous. Yeah, Bills Mafia. I yeah, thought the same thing. You watch out for them Bills Mafia, bro. Yeah, look out. They're up there in the cold with their the Keemstar's dick is in his ass in the snow. Um, Who y'all playing? Mono... <clears throat> mono uh, <laughs> Mono quarterback Jets. Are y'all playing them this week? Yeah, I think we're playing Fucking the Sam Dar. <laughs> we're playing some. The next se- the first seven games of the season are a joke. The Patriots got insanely yeah. lucky, like with the draft, with the uh, whatever the schedule. It's it's retarded. The schedule. Plus, yeah. Well, plus Hello? y'all got Antonio Brown. Yeah, and well, Antonio Brown. See, see that statue of limitations happened. That's why he never settled with that lady. Five three zero. What's oh, up? Right. Yo, f- hey, five three zero, you're on. What's up? Five three zero, is it my number? What was that? Well, you're that on. My number? Yeah, you're on. I don't know, five thirty, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know. You're on. What's up? Wait, you wait, actually? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh shoot! I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, what's up, dude? I'm just so hyped. Man, for I what? Cannot, what are you hyped for? I cannot wait to see those aliens. Oh, dude, I'm ready for the aliens, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be going with Alex Jones. We're gonna be going all the way up to the building. No, it's gonna be crazy, man. They're gonna we're gonna be showing the live stream. I am pumped up. We have our own Dilk Wilkerson out there right now in the desert, and I, I, he may be killed at Area 51. Uh, wait, can you live stream it? Can you like videotape it or something? Oh yeah, we're gonna have multi cams. Like it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna be broadcasting multi cams. I mean, I'm a little bit afraid because I'm worried if somebody gets, like, sniped or something. You know, I don't know. But it'll be interesting. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah we please go to the pretty scary right now. Yeah, being out there. Yeah, be, I'm glad I'm not so, out there. You know, I'm glad it's somebody else. Yeah. How many people call this number, by the way? Like, how uh, lucky did I get? I mean, pretty lucky because there's, like, seven calls right now. But, th- you know, honestly, dude, this is usually my uh, – my like very sort of chilled out Thursday stream over here. But when I'm doing my show on my other channel with like 66,000 subs, like, and I'm taking calls, like sometimes I like, it just cancels calls, just cancel out. It used to be that Skype would keep allowing you to see every call coming in. Now it only allows like four people at once to be calling. So I really can't tell, but I know that it's pretty busy right now. I know that I see a lot of calls. Yeah. Uh, so are you going to be at Area 51? I'm not going to be there, but um, other people I know are going to be there, and we're going to have all this crazy head cam coverage, and we're just it's going to be whacked out. We're going to be trying to get people on the phone that are there. 
I got someone from the local government or whatever that's kind of worried. They're like really worried over there because they don't know what these people are going to do. Yeah. And honestly, I don't really either. I just know that I'm going to be talking about it. There's going to be like a lot of people like bringing like masses like RPGs and guns and bombs. Yeah, like, I don't know, probably that. Robert Kraft is going to be out there looking for a brothel. It's going to be nuts. <laughs> And, and jobs. And Justin That's Trudeau is going to go back on his word, and he's going to do brownface again, but for the aliens. <laughs> Justin, oh my God. Justin Trudeau is going to do brownface for the aliens, or blackface, as it looks like he did here, and then he's going to blow a seek while uh, the neighbors watch. It's going to be fun. Wow, that sounds <laughs> crazy, dude. You are fucked. Damn right, man. He's insane. Yeah. He's a crazy I'm bastard. Just, like, I'm just waiting for somebody to show some like cam like recording or something that live streams it. Like, I'm just looking for that. Yeah, I mean, like I'm hoping I, I, I want to get chaos, but I don't want to get too bad because I don't want to like get fucked over if somebody takes a pop shot. Uh, you know, I want everybody to be okay, but it's like I'd love to see. I I think they're gonna use microwave radiation to fry anybody within fucking 200 yards of this uh, the warning fence. Yeah, did you hear about like in the 50s, like? The CIA was already inventing like drones. Oh yeah, that I wouldn't like be surprised. Drones. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They'd they they probably like... used radio. They just used regular like radio signals to control drones. I'm sure back then. They probably already have like rail guns, like in Area 51 already. Who knows what they have in there, dude? I'm you waiting for a, like a rail. Not crazy. Straight up rail gun. Yeah, they could probably just. There's a lot of stuff, man. Like the stuff in Cuba, like the the stuff in Cuba where they were like frying the people's heads with the with the whatever it was, the sonic waves, uh, and that type of shit. Like the stuff that's in Area 51 is like way more advanced than that. Like way more. We talked about Dave Rose with this, um, but thanks for the call, bro. I appreciate it. Oh fuck, I hung up on everybody. My bad. I just hung up on everybody. My bad. John Montgomery, I'm sorry. Uh, I I apologize. Uh, but yeah. It, it is really fucked up. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, but anyway, so here's the deal. My This is uh, Corrupted Nation. We are live on Corrupted Nation right now, and I uh, hope you guys subscribe down below. We're live every Thursday night on Thursday Night Throwdown. This is episode number 65. We've talked about a lot of shit tonight. I didn't have my normal co-host tonight, which is different. Normally, I have uh, different people on with me and things like that. And, of course, it's been a little bit of a weird night. but um, And then, of course, my main channel with 66,000 subscribers, Joe Cronin Show. We brought Throwdown and monetized this over here. We're going to be live again tomorrow night, too, at 11 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. So uh, if you're new, hopefully you'll be there for that. And hopefully you guys uh, jump on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. The Patreon's going to have a whole bunch of shit tomorrow as well. But we're not done here. And fuck, I had something I wanted to show you guys, but I forget now. Let's play the donations. Super chat. There's John Montgomery Daddy. again dropping a dog. Bat rat me, Jay Hood. Yo, I will bat rat you any day of the week, bitch. I will fucking Jay Hood you. God, Jay Hood, what was he thinking when he challenged me to a bat rattle? Why do you think he said bat rattle? Do you think it's because like he's having like brain right, aneurysms right. or something like that? I would like Shit. to go back again to monetize this where... Uh, where Broken Lion donated fifty dollars. Um, certainly, we've had three thousand dollar donations and stuff like that. But I was just so excited that Broken Lion was donating, um, and he donated the fifty dollars, and I just was really happy. This was back in two thousand eighteen. I'll monetize this. Broken Lion. Wow. Roar. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Dude, what the fuck was that? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with us? I don't know, man. I just I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me there. I had to I roared, man. I had to roar. Every once in a while, you know, you got to roar, dude. You got to fucking just let a roar out. But yeah, here's here's Tommy at the fair the other day. Uh we've been talking about this all week. Tommy went to the fair. He looks like he's shitting his pants right here. Right about right now. Right there. He looks like he's about to be sick, actually, to be honest. 
But we'll talk about this more on Monetize This tomorrow night. Because we, we talked about this already on Tuesday. We played all the videos of Tommy at the fair um, on Tuesday night. But I, I want to go over this again on Monetize This tomorrow night right here. Yeah, see, he looks like he's going to throw up here. Like that, this is what it looks like to me. Very strange. What a cracker. Are you guys ready? And then he hits on these younger women. Could be, could be young teens for all we know. He, you know, Tommy looks more like fucking Michael Moore here than David or whoever the fuck that is. David Doughboy. I don't even know who that is. He looks like Michael Moore. 2010, look me up. Okay. Catch you later, folks. Look, look me up so I can nice try to know. fucking get on a date with this you. Hey, look me up. Uh, hey, would you look me up? Uh, here's my phone number. Here's my phone number. I want to I wanna bang you. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Justin Trudeau is fucking sand knee. Man. Oh male my sign god. Plus poop equals man male sign. Oh my god. Oh. You are fucked. That is so messed up. Oh god, please, you. Fuck you. Get oh. the fuck back to your country, bitch. Get the fuck back to again, your country, again, bitch. Please. By the way, this was two women in America. Yeah, in hell yeah. Hicks, Spicks, those darks who vanish at night, turban wearing explosives, airport coke smugglers, inbred oh, cow fuckers, Aussie venom spitters, USSR elitists, greedy ash from Hitler's ashtray, or swimming border hoppers. We're all people. Yes. Love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor, the goon. I, I agree, man. Goon, thank you for the donation, goon. Peace to you, bro. Yeah, bro. It's so ridiculous. Everybody needs to love each other, man. Black, white, no matter what Super color, jet. race you are. Super jet. Everybody Get loves your big ass on the show, Thomas Fitton. And he did, Glorious Eugene. Thank you for the $2 Super Chat, Glorious Eugene. If anybody wants to donate, the link is down below. Description box expanded all the way. All the donation amounts are listed for you down what below. Else we got? Oh, little a little bubbly. bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Hey, Tommy, I gave Deb action pack in her pussy after I fucked her to pass out. I went to skull fuck her after that. Oh, now she wears an eye patch because of me. Jesus Christ, Casey is raw. Yeah, man, Casey is raw. Thank you for the donation. A little bit of the bubbly. But yeah, man, you got to love each other again. Fucking we are the world, dude. If you're it doesn't even matter, man. We got to make fun of everything, though, too. We got to have a good time. We love the we love y'all. Yeah. You watch Raw. You're a fan of lame WWE comedy. You're not a fan of art of wrestling. Go cry to Crystal, you attention seeking entitled autistic whore. Don't call into wrestling shows. People like you make me hate society a bit more. Whoa. God damn the goon. The goon just went fucking savage on Tommy. That was <laughs> that was some savage stuff, Goon. Man. Super Chad. Jesus. Party. Adam Twinbrook. What up, Adam? Tom Brady or Morgan Freeman. Tom Brady or Morgan Freeman. And Morgan Freeman. I'm going Tom Brady, dude. He's my quarterback of my team. I have to go Tom Brady. I don't give a fuck about Morgan Freeman. What am, what is, you know what I mean? What am I going to miss another? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll miss all the great narrations by Morgan Freeman, but, you know. I have to go Tom Brady. You know, I know that you're outside the country with that donation in the currency, I can tell. So you you would probably go Morgan Freeman because, I mean, he's more entertaining unless you're a football fan of Brady, I guess. I mean, otherwise, I don't know. When did I do this with Tommy? What, do you, what is everybody talking about? When did I, when did Sith Negan, can somebody in the chat tell me when the bottle landed on my head with Sith Negan? Like, what show was it? Was it SmackDown was it last night? Was it Raw? What, what, what review was it? I'll go look Super for it and play it. Jack. Trying to find it. Party. We always get it done. We always get it done. 
Tom Brady, get done. We always get it done. How many people are going to die tomorrow in, at at the at the uh, Area 51 raid? That's what I'm wondering about. People are really concerned. We've talked to a few people. We talked to the devil himself. He is waiting corpses up there in hell. Uh, let's go to the devil now. Devil, are you ready? Tomorrow, Area 50 fucking one, devil. It's going to be nuts. I await the corpses of you. Bring me your corpses. I will eat every last fucking soul. Oh, yes. I have waited a long time to taste the cock of the males that will be slaughtered tomorrow at Area 51. We will use your penises for our fucking crafts to fly into the atmosphere and take pictures of your wives from hundreds of miles in the sky using our nano-microscopic telescopic technology. Yes, bring me the dead man's penises, and also bring me the vaginas of the females who choose to die as well. <laughs> and most of all, bring me the head of that blackface looking motherfucker, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> I am gonna fuck myself to pictures of Justin Trudeau as a black Arab. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, let's take a phone call. 530, hello. Hello? Who's this? Oh, it's me. Um, it's me. Yeah, you accidentally hung up on. Well, oh man, what's up? Oh, you're back. You called earlier. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, what's up, dude? What's up, bro? What else do you want to say? I'm current. Oh, I just wanted to. Do you allow shout outs or not? You want to shout out someone? Okay. Um. Yeah. Can I shout out myself? Yeah. I'll type in chat. What are you gonna write? Fucking. Kings Gaming. Oh, okay. That's on YouTube. Kings Gaming, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, my my friends are on a call right now. What would you guys like to say, friends? Yo, Do bro, listen. Um, first? just say, just say they like aliens. Hi. Aliens raped me. Just yell, <laughs> aliens raped me. <laughs> aliens raped me. Oh, there you go. That was weird. Can I plug myself? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah. I hung I hung up again now. There's King's Gaming. There he is with a big K. Add two more and you fucking be taken off YouTube, bro. Uh, <laughs> six one six. How you doing? You're live. Hello, six one six. Oh, is this throw down? Are we actually really gonna throw down? We're gonna no? throw the fuck down. We've already thrown down really today. I spent like all day throwing down on my other channel. But what's up? But on your other channel, I'll, I'll give you the most credit to anybody. You're the only motherfucker who will not fucking ban people in the chat on your last show. Fuck. Is this blowing? Cool. Is this blowing? Of course. This is Scott's Pitbull. Roof, roof, roof. God damn it, man. Here we go. What is so as how many times has Scott requested to rape your wife? Doesn't matter. He can. Why not? I'll watch, I'll jerk it off, and I'll have what fun. What the hell, man? What kind of guy lets another dude just plow his wife? What other guy would actually watch porn and watch it what? jerk off? So it's better. I'd watch it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm always watching oh, porn, I, I, man. I, of course, you watch porn, but what's better? You actually watch your wife getting fucked by someone you actually like? To me, no, that's I'd rather bang my wife, though. I'd rather bang my wife myself. Not me. So I'm fucked up then. I think you are. I think you I might would be fucked watch up. I my wife get fucked by a guy I like, and I can act. It's better than porn because everybody jerks off. I think so you might be it. cucked I'll, up. I'll, You're cucked up, is what you are. I, I, I'll be cucked. Who cares? I don't give a fuck. Oh, God damn it. What do you think? Hey, we talked a lot about this Area 51 thing, but what do you think about this iOS phone? Are you into the Apple phones at all? I'm in Apple. Yeah, I actually have a fucking Apple phone. Really? That's, yep. that's weird, man. Those fucking phones, man. I don't know. So. What? 
you, Joe. Do you want me to play clips of my wife or something? Would you jerk off to my wife? Uh, yes. I'll, I'll actually send my wife over, and you can fuck the shit out of her, and I'll take pictures of her face as she's moaning. Oh, my God. And then I'll what jerk the? off to it. So why not? What if I played, like, the Leah's tits sound clip over and over again? That's right. They're nice tits. <laughs> they're fucking that. beautiful. They're fucking but it's awesome, these people. man. This, it's these fucking people. Like, on this show, I, I could drop a bomb. I could drop a fucking nasty bomb. That's right. I'll drop they're nice tits. Over a <laughs> they're fucking beautiful. They're fucking wicked Wait awesome, man. You're going to drop a bomb? <laughs> what, what kind of bomb are you going to drop? What are you talking about? I could drop certain things. What type of... What are you going to drop? What you give me? Give me something. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? It's the people who were... Oh, man, you're really thinking about it, man. I can see you're, no, you're, you are I'm, thinking I'm about playing, it. No, I'm playing straight because it's, it's your show. Uh, well, so I'm all not, right. I, I, I'm not going to go over it beyond your show. It's your limit. It's your show. So right, I'm going to shut my mouth. You're freaking me out, Blown. Uh, text me or something with what you want to talk about. Maybe we can talk about it. I do. I, I appreciate that. I do. I appreciate it. But you should bring it, man. Bring it. Let me know in the chat or comment. No, no fucking email me. JoeGrownShowYahoo.com or email me on Twitter. It's at CorruptedPod on Twitter. Hit me up at CorruptedPod. Let me know what the fuck you're talking about because you're all over the place. Um, I got in a fight with Tommy earlier. In case anybody missed that. Yeah, people wanted to see the Tommy bit. Listen, he got pissed off, man, so I just started fucking around, fucking with him. And the thing about it is, the best part is when I said that <laughs> I made fun of his dead grandfather and I said, my dead father, I said, my dead father is better than his dead grandfather. It was fucking weird. Not drama or nothing, but I just, you know, I was listening to the show. I tuned into the show. I was scanning through the show and I heard you basically say you wanted to punch me in my face and you said I was disgusting. You were disgusting like, at that fucking thing in front of all those people around you. And you were just like, ah! And then you I was like, having a good time. Everybody, did, everybody does has a good time when they're on a ride. Did, they, you, did know? you see the looks on their faces? Yelling in front of those girls, you just farted, Tommy. You that told was, those uh, girls you I farted was, on them? I was them. saying something to, for shock value. I was just saying for something for shock value to make them like, to make them, well, what? Did he say that? And I, I was just doing something for shock value. That's all I was doing. Like, we, we're, we were, on, we're on a ride. We're having a good time. And also, I'd like to see you try, Joe. I'd like to see you try. Why? I don't think come you on lay up. a hand on me. Come on up. Come on up to Boston. We'll have a fight. No, you want to no, have a fight no. with me? Why don't you come down here? Come no, down here. Me and you have a there. match at no, TCW. not coming down come there. Come down here. Not see, who, down see what happened. I'm not coming come down, down here. Come, come, come on down up. here. Come in the ring at TCW. I'll sit up with Tim Toller, and we'll have a match in uh, the ring. Me and you. Well, you want to? I, I don't want to have a match. I want to have a fight. We're going to fight each other. You're going to fight. Or we're not going to wrestle. We're going to have a fight. I don't think they'll allow a fight in the wrestling match. Uh, you know, I have, you know, I can, uh, I could put some stuff. Just turn to work and do a shoot. Yeah, okay, Joe. you get, you set that up for the real fight with me and you, and I'll do it. We'll see it. Go ahead. You set up a real uh, fight with me and you, and I'll do it. Really? Yeah. You, you would actually come down here and fight me? No. No, I mean, I, I, yeah, if it was a real fight, I'll, if it was a real fight, like, you want to fight me for real? Like, how shitty are you going to feel if I, what if I fucking hurt you or something, you know? What if you're, you're not going <laughs> to probably what I'm going to do to you, Joe. What if, what honestly, if I get, what if I, I get hurt? Honestly, I don't want to hurt you, Joe, so, you know, I'm going to spare pity on you. Yeah, honestly, I mean, what, what if I, I, I get hurt? I would hurt you. What if I have no kids? <laughs> what if I get, my kids don't have a dad? What if I get hurt? Well, don't don't then don't run your mouth and say shit. You know, I know you're just joking and stuff like that. But, uh, Man, fuck you, know? you! Bring it on, motherfucker! You fat retard! Let's go! Let's bring it on, you oh, fuck! Yeah, bring it on, you fat yeah, Boston it. piece of shit! Fuck, fuck you! Man, fuck shit you, North me. Carolina! You That's racist motherfucker! Talking. You black hating motherfucker! You fucking racist you grandfather! Racist, dig him! I'll dig words. up your so racist fuck, grandfather! Man. I'll dig up your racist you grandfather! Racist and I'll fuck him! Racist. I'll fuck your dead you grandfather! Racist Joe? You wanna call me out? I'll call fuck you! Why don't you hit on some more little kids? Hit on some little girls! Hit on some little girls! Hit on some little girls! I don't fucking. I'm not a fucking pedophile, Joe. Fuck you. I'm gonna dig your grandfather up and fuck him. 
Oh, oh, shit, shit on him! Shit on him! Oh, Why do I go shit God. on your father? My you dead know? father's you better than your dead you grandfather! Not my dead, you my dead father's better than your grandfather! You want to call me a fucking pedophile, <laughs> Joe? Fuck you! You know, I'm fucking tired of getting shit on you all the fucking time! I'm shitting on you right now, faggot! Let's go! Yeah, come down here, North Carolina. I'm I ain't coming you down to your come shitty on. state. On, you I'm not coming you're down not, to your you're shitty not man state. Enough. You're Fuck too North much of Carolina. A to come from down from Boston. NC. You're... NC stands for nobody cares about you. North Carolina, nobody cares. Uh, no Joe. cock. Come on. No Don't cock. No cock. No cock. Come on. No you cock. Come on. No you cock. No cock. No cock. I'll give you a cock. free one, you Joe. Big I'll fat give you a free one. I'll eat your ass. And then I beat the shit out of you. I will okay. kill you. Fucking oh my bring god. It, Joe. I will send you to Tommy C in Germany in a body bag. Oh my god. I'd like to see you try. I'll I'd make like to see you try. You're not even gonna lay a hand on me, Joe. I'll, I'll send your fucking I'll pinky to your adopted mother, and I'll send your other fucking pinky to your real shit mother. My family. You wanna talk shit about I'm my gonna family, run through your whole you family. Do, you I will your whole family, oh god, your whole dude. fucking family, <laughs> and so dead so pussy. And dead pussy too. You motherfucker. Try quit trying to ruin my record. Reputation. You have Fuck no rep. You. you ruined your own reputation. You're fake crying in your fucking you know, videos. You reputation by you coming on your fuck. show and then freaking out? You mean that? that oh my god, man. I don't know. That shit was insane. Uh, anyway, I had to pee, so we played that while I pee. 540, hello. Hey, what's up, Joe? How's it going? That was the funniest shit I've ever seen. What does the devil think of it? Oh, the devil's loving it, I bet. I soon will claim Tommy. I will claim Tommy at the hands of his friend Ashley, who will attempt to eat him for his meat. Wow, that's uh, some scary shit there, devil. <laughs> that's awesome, brother. Donate to the show and I will masturbate. <laughs> wow, that is... uh. All right, well, there you go, man, I guess. You wanted to hear it? You got it, I suppose. We got a new, a bunch of new subscribers. Water Fresh Thirty, what's up, Water Fresh? How you doing? Um, this, I, my name is Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation live every single Thursday and Friday. Thursday night throwdown and Friday night monetize this right here on Corrupted Super Nation. Yeah. Super Been yeah. doing this for seven years. Joe will Wilkerson be at Area Fifty One? Yes, Dilk Wilkerson is going to be at Area Fifty One. Broken Lion, thank you, Broken Lion. I know you like him, Broken, I, but he is kind of racist. That's the problem, though. You know, that's my issue, and I know you, as a black man, you can appreciate it. You know, I get it. Ock the Bengals, never to get it done. Yes. Ock. <laughs> Will Tactics, thanks, man. I know, I'm sorry about those Bengals, man. I'm sorry about your football teams. What's up to the chat? How's everybody doing? Did you watch the Titans game tonight in the fucking Jaguars or whatever the fuck? Um, yeah, Tennessee not looking good, man. I'm sorry. You've, it's a problem there. Will Tactics, thank you, Will Tactics. For the dollar ninety nine, will I don't know who the top donator is tonight, but we are having a fucking we're having a subscription party, dude. I really appreciate it too. Shout out to everybody in the chat who's ready for the Area Fifty One raid. We are ready to go at it, man. We have an unknown caller on the phone right now. Let's take that unknown caller. Hello, unknown caller. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Who's this? I'm a new subscriber to the channel. It's my first time watching. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, it seems like we're bringing in um, some pretty decent traffic tonight. It must be the Area 51 thing. What people don't know is I had uh, two co-hosts that were going to be on tonight. We had all this stuff planned, and they actually both had kind of it situations come up. So I've just been uh, flying off the handle taking calls going solo. But, yeah, welcome to the channel, and what's up? What's up? What do you think of NXT? Um, NXT, uh, man, I should blow you up for the wrestling question. No, I'm just kidding. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I thought it was pretty good. I wasn't happy that the network crashed and everything, you know, obviously that sucked, but I thought it was good. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I, I let the first hour was great on TV. I don't think we're going to get anything really good though ne next week either until like the week after when they go two hours on USA network the whole time, then it will be really good. And plus when they're competing with AEW, then it's going to get real fun. Um, but yeah, I really thank you for subbing and I uh, stick around, keep calling, call the wrestling shows more too. Uh, thanks for the call. I am going to let you go though, because 
I just can't handle wrestling on Thursdays and Friday nights, man. We're here. I like. I'm. I'm ready for aliens, bro. Are we? Are we in a different dimension? Are we? Are, is there a paradox happening? Are there uh, these alien crafts, these UFO crafts that we're seeing recently? Obviously, we said years ago that these were real. We knew they were real. We knew the Air Force released stuff. We knew the Navy knew about stuff. And now, finally, the government has to go ahead and say, yeah, yeah, they're all real. Are they saying that because they're, you know, they're trying to cover up stuff that they're studying themselves and aircraft that the government has, so they'd rather you think these are UFOs? Or are these UFOs entering our dimension from a different one? Or are they aliens? There's so many different questions. I think most of the people storming Area 51 are just on LSD, ready to jerk off. 812's on the phone. Hello. Hey, 812, you're on the phone. Hey. I think that you're muted, or you don't realize you're on the air. One of the two. 812 going once. 812 going twice. And we'll see you later. Oh, damn it. Boy, would I love to find my wife Peggy and just go inside of her. Have you ever bent over Lady Bird and found out that you love banging dogs? Well, hell, I'm Hank Hill and I've done it. Stone Cold Steve Austin's done it. I right, let's take another phone call. Um, it's, it's just open lines tonight because, man, I don't know where the, the co-hosts are all dead. 817, hello. What's up, Johnson? Who is this? It's Michael Sachs Jr. Oh, Michael Sachs? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Holy Long shit, time. dude. What's been up? Yeah, how you been? Good, how are you? Fucking How's great, bro. I'm ready to go, dude. I'm fired up. The fucking Titans suck, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, the Titans really blow, man. I'm so, well, yeah, it's, it's over. This is bad. Yeah, it sucks what happened um, to my quarterback, huh? Broke his hand. <laughs> Man, it sounds like you're in a singing booth or something. Yeah. So it sucks what happened to my uh, quarterback, didn't it? I didn't see it. Uh, did he get injured? Yeah, Drew Brees. Oh, my God. Oh, back. yeah, Brees. That's right. Yeah, six, he's out like six, seven weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah, fucking that sucks. The fucking refs fucked us again. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, dude, I, it, it's, that's, that's... I mean, the refs fucking have really screwed you guys. It's too bad because of what happened last year. You guys really should have wanted to come back and be like, you know what I mean, get some redemption, and now it's like the guy's injured. Just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it sucks, it's man. Tommy fat. That fat fuck on choke on his fucking um, <laughs> neck fat. Oh, fuck my God. <laughs> Hello? oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? 541, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm just watching this, you guys, live stream right now. How's it going? Doing pretty good, man. It's been, uh, it's been fun. It's, I'm fucking busy as hell. I don't know. I did like 70 videos today. I did a bunch of podcasting. I played with my children when they were fucking in the, we were having a goddamn, uh, wiffle ball game. And, uh, here I am now on, uh, Throwdown, man. What do you, what are you calling about? What's up? I just call in because a raid's going to happen soon. I'm on Discord with some friends, like, watching this live right now. or going to different live streams, and there's this one really weird one that we found. It's, yeah. like, CTD footage of it, like, and it'll, like, cut out for a minute. Really? Like, yeah, because cause I'm hearing that anybody that, like, is near there, you know, might be getting, like, cut down and shit like that. Yeah, that's that's weird. Like the government's like tapping in, you know. Well, dude, anybody that's around the area, they have inhibitors. You know what I mean? That they can just turn on, like you know, like in, like phone inhibitors and three G, four, well, all that shit. So anybody's phones that we're streaming or attempting to stream anything, it's like all of a sudden your phone's out. I mean, you, I, I've been in stores where they've got in, like these little inhibitors or whatever for whatever reason. So there's no problem with them doing that. Yeah. You this is like almost reminded of the Howard Stern show when the guy was calling in and saying he was worth the Area 51, then everything <laughs> cut out. Yeah, bro. I'm wondering. I got a guy out there. We're going to hear from as many people as we can tomorrow. I'm wondering what's going to happen. It's going to be crazy. And more importantly, man, if anybody is out there who's listening to this, and by the way, thanks for the call, dude, and I'm glad you guys are partying on Discord. Oh, yeah. Good shit, bro. Um, if anybody is listening to this that you know is out there and, and you guys can get a hold of me or you can call tomorrow... It's going to be fun to talk about this tomorrow, man. I'm going to be doing my other show, which is uh, called Monetize This, 
for the people that are new, um, I've been on YouTube since forever, but um, I opened up a channel in 2012, uh, Joe Cronin Show, but we mostly talk about sports wrestling over there. And here on Corrupted Nation, I moved all my non-sports and non-wrestling content here to Corrupted Nation recently, and um, we, we got over 10,000 subs now already, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, we've been doing monetize this since 2013 or 2014, I think we started um, monetize this on Friday nights. Every Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern time, we go live with monetize this. But now I added this show throwdown, and tonight's a little bit weird because I planned all this stuff out and nobody could show up, um, which is weird. So it kind of threw me off guard, you know. But I'm having a good time no matter what. So. We'll just keep taking calls talking about this Area 51. I've got some more news and stuff and Trudeau's blackface stuff. We talked about that. Uh, the Triple E's getting crazy out here, especially in Massachusetts. Everybody's freaked out about these mosquitoes. 904, what's up? Uh, uh, just wanted to know, are you ready to clap them alien cheeks? I am ready to clap them alien cheeks, bro. I am ready to All fucking right. clap them, bro. I am ready to clap them together. Yeah, baby, clap them together. Clap those alien cheeks. I want to clap those alien cheeks. I want to clap those alien cheeks. I want to do blackface with 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 cheeks. I'm Justin Trudeau. I wanna do blackface with cheeks. I wanna do blackface with thee. I wanna dress up like Black Aladdin. Clap those alien cheeks. Clap those alien cheeks. Clap those alien cheeks. I haven't had sex in like four weeks Clap those alien cheeks 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 The fuck am I doing, dude? Anyway, uh, yeah, clap those alien cheeks. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it sounds... I mean, I know what it means, but it's weird. I don't know. Anyway, what the fuck am I doing? Ray Zier! Thanks for subbing to the channel, Ray. What's up? Let's grab a beer. Fuck, I'm grabbing a beer! Super Chat Party! You think this raid is really gonna happen? Oh god, I, oh, I said on the fucking headphones, guys. Oh my god, I said on the fucking headphones. What the fuck is wrong with me, dude? Uh, John Doe, thank you for the dollar ninety nine, dude. I think the raid to some fucking extent is gonna happen, but I think it's. I think people are gonna back off, man. I really think people are gonna back off the fucking raid, and what they're gonna do is they're just gonna end up having a party. You know what I mean? And then like police are gonna come out and they're gonna be like, dude, go go home, you know? And people are just gonna be like, now nah, we're fucking partying now, like fuck the raid, you know? And I swear that's what that's what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, Space jizz, dude. Nick Amato in the chat's talking about fucking space jizz, jizz, bro. <laughs> Listen, I don't have a, I don't have a bottle opener. I'm too fucking weak right now to open this Corona. Uh, buenos noches, buenos noches. DNA sus papeles. It's okay. Fuck that. We Shit bomb. Stay in the country. It's cool. This Chris Farley wannabe named Tommy has got to be the biggest loser that has ever existed. Oh God, and no. I'm a loser, and I would know. That's horrible. That Barracuda. That Barracuda, thank you for becoming a $5 shit bum Barracuda. Uh, Sam in the chat asked about what the fuck the $5 shit bum means. A long time ago, I was mad that my phone calls were terrible. And my friend, I had a friend named Tommy C. And my friend actually went on to like work with Keemstar and all kinds of stuff like that. But he used to be my co-host, Tommy C and me. And he was getting good calls, and my calls were shitty, and I, I said everybody was a shit bum. Super chat. And then he Super tried jet. to use that against me. He'll be a co-host. New Mike Road, Procaster on Oh, way. you got the Procaster, dude? Oh, Triple M, I saw that you called, bro. You call back up, Triple M. We'll get you on anyway. 
I'm not really keeping people on too long tonight, but you know, it is what it is. This is the 65th. This is episode 65 of Throwdown, and it's only the fifth episode that I'm basically doing solo. I mean, Rojas called. We had a whole bunch of people called that would gladly be on the show with me. It's just I've been moving through the phone calls, just you know, moving through everything. Super chat. This is what it is. Kings Gaming is a gay Negro. Oh man, why the fuck you gotta say that? I think he's a white guy, but I mean, glorious, glorious man. What the fuck, bro? God damn, that's fucked up. Pour me a beer. You've got a new Crack a ass, motherfucker. It's your girl Paige. Thanks for subbing to the channel, Paige. Anything like that WWE page? Then hell yeah. Seven oh eight is on the phone. What up, seven oh eight? What's up, Joe? It's Red Cotton Man. Red. Red Comet, man, you make Joe Cronin's dick grow. No, nah, so what's going on? How you doing, man? <laughs> but you know you do. But now, uh, I see you got no co-host today. Whoa! You <laughs> Ow! No, nah, yeah, bro, no co-host tonight, man. Dave Rose, I think Dave Rose only calls drama now shows. Dave Rose passed out. Uh, Troy couldn't be here. Drew is actually busy tonight. And everybody else is busy too, man. Out of nowhere, I have no co-host, so I just was like, "Fuck it, let's go." Okay. So, so I, don't, I don't need one tonight. I got three topics. I got three things, uh, topics I uh, see that I don't know if you want to uh, talk about. Give me three one of them. Give me, give me one of them. We'll see how, give them. Give me one of them because I'm ready to. I don't need topics tonight. I got a few of them right here, and I got thousands of calls ringing. Because I'll tell you what. What's okay. Go yeah, dude. This right now. We're getting more calls than uh, last week and the week before. Like, it's on fire right now, so I'm I, good to go. But give me one I of your topics. because there's no calls. That's probably why. Yeah, that's what it is, man. And the raid. Everybody wants to go to the raid and jack off. Yes. Uh, now, uh, one topic is uh, I was uh, I know everyone's watching the Thursday night game, but I was watching uh, the Thursday night college game, mm. and uh, the craziest two plays – in a football game ever. So, uh, it's 31-31. They kneel, they got a timeout with 18 seconds left. They go in like kneel, kneel formation. F throws a trick play out kneel of Kneel formation. Kneel that, formation. Kneel formation. Is that where they like, they don't say the Star Spangled Banner or whatever? No, where they <laughs> run out the, run out the clock. No, I got you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, when that game's over or if they want to just go overtime, right. they get like a 30-yard run out of that. Right. And then they uh, throw a, a letter for a yard bomb to win win the game. They threw a bomb to win the game. Hell yeah, baby. Deep shot to the end zone, motherfucker. Well, I wish I could. I guess I'll have to check that out. Triple M is here with his uh, sexual ass. What's up, Triple M? <laughs> I'm at work playing Skyrim listening to Joe Cronin the God. What's up, man? I am your God. How you doing, I man? Am What's up? For the raid. Because once this raid happens, the earth will finally be rid of a plague that needs to go. Scott McKinnon will finally be gone from this earth. The devil oh, will be God. feasting on well, his corpse. Well, you know, I was I was really excited about this and then I found out I read it wrong. I thought it said the rape. And I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Like, I can't wait. And then I clicked on everything, and it said, uh, I was like, oh, they're saying the raid. I thought they were saying the rape. And I was like, yeah, let's go. You know, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, that sucks. I mean, who the fuck wants to see the fucking, who the fuck wants to see a raid? I mean, like, when you can see a rape. I mean, like, come on. Oh, he's joking about rape now. Yep, shut up. Super chat. Party. Michael Sachs Jr., thank you for the dollar donated. In the chat, 69 in the chat if you got a full-on erection. Oh, my God, I'm getting swatted. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, my God, no, it's real. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, bro. Yo, Joe Dirt, what's up, dude? Michael Sachs Jr., thank you. Triple M, I lost your call, bro. Let me just reset my... Fuck this, I'm going to reset Skype. I will reset Skype for you. Because there's definitely something going on with Skype. And, you know, it's not a problem. Remember the crazy guy on the train, <laughs> dude? This guy is so fucking crazy, but I love it, man. This dude is nuts. He released a new video today that I'm looking for right as we speak. Michael Sachs Jr., thank you for the donation. Um, this guy released a video today as we speak. And I got to show you it because it's all so funny. He, every time he does the signature thing, I, now I believe this guy is from France. He is from France. He smashes the fucking top of the train. And he's like, boom! And then he goes, ah! 
And then, like, people just freak out because they think, did this guy just get stabbed? Is he fucking, like, going to shoot people? What's going on? Although it does seem more like an upper class, like, group of people on this upper scale train in France. It's not like, like, uh, he, like I could see in New York on the subway, you'd be like, oh man, somebody getting stabbed or is this a gun or what the fuck's going on? But like, also you could also see him doing this and be like, ah, I mean like, ah, and people just being like, oh yeah, it's a crazy guy. Okay. It's a crazy person. Whatever. Just they're going to ignore that now. That's just a crazy person. We get those all the time. Very aware of crazy people on the, on the train. It is what it is. Crazy people are everywhere. Great. Here's a little look at him. <laughs> see, <laughs> see how he hits his hand on the fucking train. Ah! It's fucking hilarious. People's reaction to this shit. This lady is totally freaked. She's fucking out of there like right away. This is fucking great. Go ah! the street. Ah! The <laughs> so much happens in this right be right off the beginning. I, there's so many people you can pick apart right away. The lady on the phone just snaps her head. And... I'm out. Like, this lady right here is like, I'm out. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Yeah, she left immediately. Fuck this. And then this lady, I love this lady that goes, oh, my God, I'm out of here. But then realizes he's just singing and shit and goes, oh, and then comes back to her seat. Yeah, I'm not going to lose my seat. I'm not losing my seat. Either. Okay, I'll just come back. But this guy also sounds like he got stabbed at the beginning. The way he bends over. Well, the way he's holding ah! his hand, like, did he get poisoned? Or <laughs> yeah, uses... look, at this. look at this one. Right here, she's got her headphones in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> Go on the street. <laughs> Dude, this is right out of like fucking she's like I don't know 21 Drum Street or something like look at this yeah. lady she looks irritated already she looks kind of hot actually <laughs> that's it she's had enough she's like I've seen this in fucking Sinbad or whatever she's from Go on the street oh I just love how the lady in pink just turns around like, like oh yeah, I okay. was going to run away, but you're okay. just an idiot. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, oh, once the black people start getting up to walk away, then, then it's okay for the white people to do it. <laughs> then it's not a problem. Look at this. <laughs> and now what? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this guy. I love this guy. This guy's just like fucking stoned with his tiny shorts like it's 1988. This yeah, guy is not a care in the world. He's listening to the new Tool album just He's like he got the new, <laughs> He's got the new Tool album on. <laughs> this guy's listening to the new Tool CD. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, meanwhile that guy with the fucking headphones on while this whole thing is going on. Just freaked out. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Oh my saying. god. All this screaming's going on, but this guy right here with the headphones on is just listening to Tool, so he's like, this is great, man. I don't know what's fucking... <laughs> this guy could be yelling, I'm gonna kill everyone on this train! And this guy is just listening to... Honey. <laughs> he's got his own music video. He's like, this is going along with the music great. <laughs> he's got the fucking tool album on. He's just like, well, this fucking, like, I don't know. There's people being killed and shit. Yeah, like, he's like, this is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson's ghost is possessing him. That's what it is. <laughs> Dude, he looks like he's getting electrocuted this whole time. 
<laughs> <laughs> so it turns out that that guy is a guy from fr uh, France, I guess. It's France. And he has an Instagram. So everything is in fr It's all French. So he's always like, you know, singing stuff in French. But he sang something recently in like, and he's yelling something about pussy or something. It's very weird. No, it's very crazy. But yeah, if you can, if I can find out what his channel is or whatever it is on Instagram, I'll try to, I'll try to let you guys know uh, if I can find it out. But yeah, we're ready for the Area 51 raid. We're looking for more videos. I've seen some footage already. There's people with night vision cameras ready to go. Uh, 210, hello. Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Sorry to everybody I just hung up on, but lots of calls at once. But what's up, 210? Yeah, what's up? Hey, hey. So I was just, um, you know, going over this whole Area 51 raid, and I yeah. was just wanted to pick your brain a little bit because I know you're putting effort into this uh, thing for the uh, whole raid. But I was wondering to you and also people who are listening – if we ever did find aliens at Area 51, do you think there would be any major changes, like, in a realistic sense? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really concerned right now because, you know what I mean, there's two different theories to me that are, like, main theories, which is, like, that they're sort of, that they're sort of um, already preparing us for that, like the soft, um, what do you call it, like a soft disclosure um, mm. you know, so that when it does happen, we're kind of already so prepared for it that they don't, they don't really have to worry about things changing that much because we'll be already so programmed that that exists. But I guess it depends on what type of aliens we're finding. Are we finding crafts mm. that like we don't know about or we're never going to hear about? Are we finding crafts? And if we do, by the way, to your question, if we do find out there are crafts there somehow at some point. I mean, what does that mean for, like, the Bob Lazar story? Doesn't that make all of that stuff seem a lot more realistic? That Bob yeah. Lazar was basically... See, th the thing that I always find interesting is these, these scientists and these these uh, military officials who tell the, who's, or are telling the truth. You know, because when you look at them, guys with mustaches and their polo shirt and their dorks, their engineers, they're not guys mm -hmm. that are looking for attention or that write a book a lot of times. They're just straight up engineer types who were hired at one point and they're telling you what they saw. And mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, that's the guy I really believe because they don't even want to be in the spotlight. You can feel it now. Not, not even Bob Lazar, but other guys that they've interviewed. Um, yeah. And that those are the guys that I tend to gravitate towards because they a lot of them, they have college degrees. You know, they've been pretty quiet throughout the years. They didn't write a book. You know, and they're just mm -hmm. expressing this piece that they know about. But yeah, how it would change. I think people would want to know more answers. I think they'd be like, what kind of technology? Why are the aliens here? What are they existing in dimensions? Are we in, mm -hmm. do we have different, um, are there paradoxes? Like what, what's happening here? Like there's so many different things. Like when you, that's such an open-ended question to me, but uh, what do yeah. you, what do you think about it? Well, I was thinking, you know, it, when you think about media in general and how long we've had this idea of little green men on Mars, you know, it's been around since like the 50s. You know, we've had yeah. those cartoons and those, you know, comics and things of that nature that we've seen, you know. Um, so media has always played a little part of this, you know, oh, little green men or, you know, even in, even in current day, there's still, you know, different types of aliens that are, you know, uh, shown through media and through film, but also like how you said, people who have done uh, in a realistic sense, in a scientific way have been working there, like you said, or did have some form of um, background and say all these things, you know, in my head, if it did come out that they were true, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like, well, we've already known about that for since the 50s, you know? Right. The only difference is now officially it's been said, oh, you know, it's true. So I think it would just change it from being, uh, you know, not sure, you know, a gray area to a definite. And then whatever happens after that, I mean, who knows if it would change much, but it would just change the idea from not sure to, oh, it's an actual fact. Yeah, that's that's basically I'm I'm in the same way. We've got so much evidence everywhere that it's almost like it's like if they know it, it's too bad they can't just come out and say things, but it feels like that um you know the different pieces of government and private businesses 
Like everybody mm -hmm. holds a piece or something. Like everybody has different evidence, but nobody's gotten together to really, you know, put the puzzle pieces together to then be able to even say what exactly we know because everybody's kind of hoarding it on their own. And the government's always kind of entrusting some of these things to these corporations or businesses. And then that's why when politicians come in, they necessarily don't know anything about this stuff. So mm -hmm. it, that it just all gets lost anyway. But yeah, I mean, yeah, who knows what happened in the fifties? You know, if it was, you know, something crashed or if they the government crashed it trying to fly. It sounds like the government didn't crash it because they didn't even know what they were doing back there. But the, mm -hmm. the, the archaeological dig stuff, I don't know if I buy that. Like if I buy that these super advanced crafts, you know what I mean, were buried in the ground and we're finding them that way. Like um, at least not not if they're alien ships, I don't believe that because I don't believe the aliens would be that inept or stupid to be like, Oh, you know, we crashed our craft here and let's just leave it now. You know, mm -hmm. if anything, I would more believe that it was some civilization or something that was living here hundreds of years ago or thousands of mm -hmm. years ago before. And then that would be why they would be there. I wouldn't think that a an advanced alien race would, you know, crash their equipment on our planet and then just leave it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I've never thought of that. I think I think the biggest thing, too, is just you know, uh, er, like a lot of people are taking this raid as, you know, of course it's a very social experiment like thing, you know, it's a fun thing to be a part of because it's definitely something that's been making a, bit, a bunch of media now too. And it definitely probably will be remembered, but you know, I, no one is probably expecting to get anything out of this whole gist of, you know, trying to raid it, you know? Yeah. Uh, but, but I feel like, you know, the thought really is just, wanting to know you know uh, and a for sure answer that there's no longer a, a what if 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 not and you know if the government is so secretive about it you know if it was aliens i feel like maybe the public could take it you know because we've been like i said media has already shown so much of it for such a long time but if it's something else well then that could be considered worrisome because it's something that they may not even know what it is you know yeah, I think the big thing it does is at least, at the very least, what's going on now is you're getting people at least paying attention to this. Like, people that maybe didn't think about it before, you're getting all these people to think about it. So, at least that's that's what's happening. Um, yeah, that's true. But yeah, man, I, I appreciate the call. And uh, it sounds, I mean, one thing is, when I do this show every Thursday, it's all about all kinds of different things. And, uh, you know, we normally have 300, maybe 400 people watching and stuff like that. But tonight I can tell that this is a hot topic because like yeah. 15,000 people have come into this stream in the last like 40 minutes, which is highly irregular. You know, there's a lot of people coming mm -hmm. in. So people want to yeah. know about this. It's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks for the call, man. Call back uh, whenever. And we'll, I'm doing All right. everything on this channel. Thank you, man, from uh, comedy to entertainment to news to sci-fi fucking movies tv whatever it's everything conspiracy we're talking about everything here appreciate the call dude all right yeah thank, thank you, you sir thank you very much good shit yeah we're talking about everything man on this channel as always man See, my you know corrupted nation is not for the weak at heart you know we make jokes that are pretty fucking over the line here and stuff like that so you know it is what it is if you got a if you can deal with that then welcome man we love everybody doesn't matter what you are man gay trans straight white black asian hispanic man we got a giant diverse crazy audience but at the same time we ain't sjw's either so we make a lot of jokes so just be aware of that and in case you're anybody that is somebody that would get offended uh, this is probably not the place for you uh but area 51 man what do you guys think are, are we going to lose life tomorrow is there going to be so many people killed is it going to turn into a party what type of weapons does the government have what type of weapons could the government use on the people tomorrow uh, or during this raid right now? Um, I'm getting more information. I'm taking a look at it right now as we speak. And I appreciate the sub. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. Want some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Joe, help me. Mun is trying to kill me again. Ha 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 ha
No seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion Jesus. seven hundred and seventy seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven im retarded <laughs> now diarasis diarasis sedilla diarasis 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 sedilla <laughs> Diarasis, diarasis, sedilla, diarasis, 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 sedilla. Oh my god. Diarasis, diarasis, sedilla, diarasis, 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 sedilla. Diarasis, diarasis, sedilla, diarasis, 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 sedilla. Blow it up. Diarasis, diarasis, sedilla, diarasis, 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 sedilla. What was that? Gary Messler! Tonight we're getting fucked up. Tonight I'm getting fucked up, up in here. I am fucked up in here. So pass me some of that vodka. And pass me some of that ecstasy. And give me some of that pussy. Tonight I'm getting fucked up. I don't have anything to say, but he is some coin. Keep up the great work, man. Whoa, Gary Metzler, man. Thank you for the $33. Holy shit. The $33 donation. It's been a couple weeks since I've heard that one. Look at that bald bastard get down. Look at that big sweat streak over his stomach right there. Man, can you imagine the amount of sweat that guy? No wonder he's so skinny. That sweat is just pouring down his goddamn stomach. Look at that. Look at this. They find this guy in Area 51. They find this guy in Area 51, I'm going to fuck him. Just put a big hole right in his ass. Look at this guy, he's getting down. Can you imagine the security guards trying to handle this guy? Dude, he would just... He's got some hands, too. He's got some big hands. Uh, What's that? My wife has something to say. That's right, they're nice tits. Oh. They're <laughs> fucking beautiful. They're fucking wicked awesome, man. Wow. All right. Super nice. Chat party. M donated. M, thank you for the donation, M. I appreciate that. Thank you, M. I salute you, my friend. Thank you so much, sir. I'm even wearing a NASA shirt. That's by accident. See, I didn't even plan this today. I just threw on this shirt. It had long sleeves. It's a little bit cold outside right now, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to wear a long sleeve shirt, and I didn't even think about doing this uh, this NASA raid, uh, or rather NASA raid, Jesus, Area 51 raid. I didn't even think about it. Almost unbelievable. M, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. What's up, man? How you doing, Mikey? Tiki, what's up in the chat, Tiki? Are you ready for the raid, Tiki? Is the raid going down, Tiki? I hope you're having a good time, man. OJ remains undefeated. What the hell does that mean? Oh, you mean against Nicole Brown Simpson? Is that what you're saying? That's weird. Mr. Baldy, thanks for subbing to the channel, man. Welcome to Corrupted Nation. Welcome to the nation, baby. The corrupted nation. Welcome to the nation. Welcome to the family. How you doing? Welcome to the family. <laughs> Here I am, an SJW. Come on. You like me? I like you. Get that f***ing mic out of my face, colonizer. <laughs> the best part is when he says colonizer, man. Colonizer. Colonizer William, thanks for subbing to the channel, man. Have a drink for me, man. I'm pulling out the beer. Tomorrow night, we're really going to be drinking. I'll monetize this. It's going to be my wife's last time until she goes away to Texas to see her brother. So, hey, I'm going to be home alone for like a week. Like, you don't know what kind of jacked up things are going to go down in my house for like a week without Super her. Yeah, it's going to be nuts. Super jack. Lick my ball and tongue punch my fart box. All right, I'll do it. Uh, Andrew Ortiz. Andrew Ortiz, man, what's up? Thank you, dude. I'm down for anything, man. I'm really up for almost anything. Super bro. Jack. Super Jack. Joe, let's storm Area 51 and get that space booze. You want to do that, dude? Can you imagine if they have space booze in there? Hazard Records. Hazard Records. Thank you, man. Check out Hazard Records online. Yeah, can you imagine if they uh, we stormed Area 51? Got space booze. Oh, my God. It just gets so jacked up. Uh, Al Brassard, thanks for uh, subbing to the channel, man. What's up? Thank you for watching. Eli Gonzalez, thank you for subbing to the channel, man. What's up? And we're drinking Coronas tonight, baby. Cerveza for you and me. My Irish ass is drinking a Cerveza tonight, brother. 
I'm, uh, I've had a couple beers, I'm not gonna lie. Super chat. Super chat. Not sure what I clicked on, but that song, though. <laughs> Opticanite, thank you so much for the donation, man. And yeah, you clicked on, uh, I'm sorry if you surprised by my channel. I do this every week. I've been doing this since 2012 on YouTube on my other channel, Joe Cronin Show, and on this channel, now uh, Corrupted Nation. We'll be live. Ha you got to catch them all. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern time right here with Monetize This tomorrow night right got? here. Oh, Hope you join me. A little me. bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's it. Bubbly. Bubbly. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh. I'm opening a up the phone lines. The bubbly. That's it. Also, you earn $5 a month from me on Patreon for everything you do. Wish I could give more. And also, Area 51 started as a social media experiment and may just get out of hand. Fuck it, let them all die. Smiley face. <laughs> smiley face. Oh my god, dude. That's so fucked up. Fuck it, let them all die. The Barracuda, thank you for the donation of $3, man. It's good to hear from you, my friend. Uh, it's been a long time, man. Tomorrow night I'll monetize this. I'm gonna have like fucking five co-hosts, and we're gonna we're gonna go deep into the dark night. Um, hello, flush. Thanks for subbing to the channel. And on the phone right now, if uh, I didn't do this wrong, six seven eight. Hello. Hey, what's going, bro? How you doing? What's up, man? I'm doing pretty good tonight. I'm ready for this raid. Well, I'm uh nice uh, at home cozy and uh, not going on the raid but I'm sending all my good vibes to the guys out there doing their part you know yeah clapping man I, those ass cheeks, you know? I, I appreciate I appreciate that they're out there clapping those ass cheeks you know right in front of that fence they're looking right at who knows what they're looking at man the type of weaponry that they they're could be facing death in the face right now dude you know yeah. you just gotta tip your ass to those guys <laughs> yeah I mean we're, we're gonna find out all kinds of things potentially from this we could find out what type of weird weapons our military could use on its own people uh, they're going to be able to you use it as a training exercise. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a little more old school. So, you know what? If anybody out there watched Twin Peaks, you know, yeah. I'm looking to find out what they did to, uh, you know, Dale Cooper and all that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> Whatever happened to our boy. <laughs> hey, you know what? What happened to our boy uh, Dale Cooper? You know what I'm saying? FBI. Hell yeah, baby. I like it. I like the reference. I'm a, I'm a big uh, X-Files fan too, man. I mean, I'm a big Star Trek fan, no doubt about it. Like, Star Trek, 100%, but X-Files as well. So I would go definitely X-Files. I'd probably say, you know, like, Star Trek The Next Generation is, like, the number one for me. Then it's probably, like, Married with Children, and then it's, like, X-Files. I don't know. I mean, I'm a weird person. I'm heavily into Star Trek The Next Generation, and then and then Married with Children, X-Files. <laughs> I don't know if Married with Children is that high up on my list, but, you know, it's definitely there somewhere. God, I would love to get Tommy to just go down there. Wouldn't you love to get Tommy to go down to Area 51 for us? We really should have gotten him to go out. Can you imagine him interviewing people? The fucking stuff that would go on. Oh, God. It would be glorious. Uh, Thanks for that call, by the way. 909, hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Awesome. I'm uh, feeling pretty good here after a couple beers. Uh, but what are you calling about? What's up? Are you a Naruto fan? Am I a what fan? A Naruto fan. Oh, God, I can't make out the word. What, a Nigel fan? <laughs> a Naruto fan. Naruto? Naruto. Naruto? Yeah. What the hell's Naruto? This is some kind of inside joke I'm not aware of. Does that mean like I cornhole myself in the moonlight or something? <laughs> like what the fuck? Like I feel like I just said I cornhole myself in the moonlight like three times. And you're like, he no, said it. Show. Oh my god. It's a show that's part of the raid. Oh, is it? Oh, I, I've I've yeah. probably seen it because I've seen so many different shows. But uh, you know, I don't know. They they probably they sound pretty cool to me. What do they do? Mm -hmm, they just run. They run? They, like, just well, run from people? Well, it's just part of the right things. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll look it up. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that call, man? I remember when I was 12. 
One time I called into a radio station in like 1996. Uh, 1996, I must have been 12, I don't know, 12 years old. I called the radio station and they were like, hey, what's up? What did you think about the Red Sox game tonight or whatever? And I was like, fuck! And like, I just, I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, so that call actually went a lot better than my call back in 1996 when I was 12 years old. I believe I was, I think I was 12 in 96. I'm not really sure. Tonga Ball. Tonga Ball. Thanks for subbing to the channel, man. And uh, everybody pour a beer in the chat for Tonga Ball, baby. Make some noise in the chat for Tonga. Mmm. He's ready to go. He's ready to go to the raid. I've got some new information on the raid coming up in a minute, by the way. I will get to this in a second. We will hit this up. Dan Dolan, thanks for subbing to the channel, Dan. What's up? What's up? That's right. I got full-on 90s references. Look at my fucking Pikachu shell necklace I'm wearing, for Christ's sake. Anime. What's up, William Jones? I can't say that. I want to say that, but I don't know. Phone calls. I'll take more phone calls. 339 226 6610. He is the perfect 10. Ty Dillinger. Area 51 is the least secret, secret base in existence. With that being no, does anyone really believe that anything of any significance is being kept in a place everyone expects things to be hidden? That is a great that is a great point. Actually, Abel Salas Jr., I would believe you're right. I mean, right now at this point, guys, I mean, it really is true. Um, you know, Area 51 is a front at this point, right? There's no goddamn there's going to be nothing in Area 51 now. Now it's just a big front to be like, yeah, Area 51, haha. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in Colorado is the real fucking air base or whatever. So there's no doubt about that. I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head. We're all having fun here talking about this, but there's nothing there. Thank you very much, Abel Salas Jr. For the uh, donation, Abel Salas Jr., the $10. Uh, dead Peace, thanks for subbing. Knee Stabber, thanks for subbing. Having, uh, make, a, make some noise for those guys in the chat. Give him some love. Nessa, what's up? Nessa's in the chat. What up to Nessa? Good to hear from her. Good to hear from everybody. I'm having a good time drinking this Corona. It's going to get weird before the night's out. Seek and destroy. Seek and destroy. Thank you for uh, pouring me a beer and subbing to the channel, Seek and Destroy. Absolutely appreciate it. And now we have on the phone 830. What's up, 830? Hello, Joe Cronin. How are you doing tonight? Joe Cronin is feeling good tonight, baby. Who's this? Oh, I love it, man. This is Robert, um, HPK for Life. I've called you before, but oh, I just shit. felt like chiming in tonight. Yeah, man. What's been up? Oh, uh, not much, man. I've just been, uh, not to beat on a dead topic, but this whole raid thing, I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of kids running out and having a party, and they're probably going to get shot. So, you know. You know. Well... You know, see, here's the thing. I think it's going to be very disappointing. I think nobody's going to get shot, really. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. What, what's no, gonna, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, but you nailed it. I think what's going to happen is it's going to turn into a big party. It's going to turn into, like, a goddamn, like, where the SWAT team has to come out. And, like, they're, and they're mm -hmm. like, we're, exactly, not, we're exactly. not leaving. We're not going home. Fuck. And, like, more people show up, and it becomes a giant, just a fucking massive tailgate is what's going to happen. Uh, no, that's pretty much it, man. They're going to have beer out there, drugs. I mean, it, go. it's going to be a bunch of stupid, like, 20 to 25-year-olds, maybe a little like, younger, you know, but people What if like I go? That. I mm. might go, dude. I'm going to go. Fuck it. I'm 35. Well, I would go, too. I'm going. Let's go. I'm, Fuck I'm, my I'm, kids. <laughs> Fuck my kids. Fuck my wife. I'm going. I'm 35. No, no, I want to no, be 25 Joe, again. Calm down. Calm down. I want to be 25 <laughs> again, dude. I want to be 25. Come on. Oh, so do I, man. You know, I'm, I'm in my early 30s now, so it's like, you know, this sounds like a rave. It sounds like a party, yeah. but I'm not going to run out to that because, you know, some dumb shit will happen, and then, hey, we'll get bombed. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, go to sleep! Uh, no, nah, but that's all, man. I, di I just wanted to chime in my two cents on that. You know, you're having a pretty chill stream tonight and i'm just chilling out having a beer too so yeah i'm like whatever man it's like it, people are people are it's like not to bring up wrestling not to bring up wrestling but it's like AEW. they're like oh da, 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 the hype you know yeah it's so over it's hype, like, yeah. all right all right all right don't hype it don't hype it because it's just going to end up in some stupid shit where the people are going to get drunk all weekend and then they're going to go home or they're going to go to jail so <laughs> I mean, so, that's sounds about like a good it, right? weekend. I'm down with that. It sounds like a fun weekend out there in Vegas. 
You know? No, it really does. Uh, in Vegas, are you kidding me, man? Go pick yeah. up a couple of hookers, fucking get some blow, you know? <laughs> Meet us out there, man. I'm game, fuck man. Fuck your kids and wife. Yeah, no. you know what? <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Seriously, I'll call Mars up. His house isn't that far away. We'll go we'll stay at Mars' oh, house. fuck you, yeah, man. I don't want to talk about all that shit. Heard about all that. <laughs> fuck that bullshit. We'll stay at Mars' house. about all that, man. Yeah, it's all good. Well, uh, hey, that's why I didn't bring it here. Dave, uh, fucking Dave Rose talked to him f- so long today, he couldn't even be here tonight. He oh, passed my up. God. Dude, don't, don't get me started on Dave Rose. That little dude is... Ugh. He sounds like the most condescending prick. I don't know him. I don't he know him little. in real life. So he could be the nicest guy in the world. But when he comes online, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's like, you're always, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into all that. Yeah. I don't want to get into all that. I just wanted to bring all that up and just say, man, having a chill night, enjoying your show. And, man, good stuff. Yeah. Um, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy what the what the raid is doing tonight. People are just losing their mind about the raid. I got one guy's going down there with like a, like one guy, I guess is trying to parachute in. Like, I don't know what's going to what? happen with that. Why? Like, I don't what's know. Going, dude. A fucking rocket launcher. Yeah. What he's going to do fucking rocket launch down there and be like fucking, oh, that's so fucking stupid. I don't know, man. Look, I'm out here in Texas. I'm a Southern boy. Yeah. I'm not going up to Las Vegas and getting my ass shot up. I don't know what's going to happen. And if we hear tomorrow that there was like a mass shooting of like 300 people, God rest their souls, a little cross mark there, but we don't want to hear that. I mean, it's yeah. like they're just going out there to party and having a good time and just doing their thing. That's what they're doing. It's Las Vegas. Yeah, the streams of the the streams of the party is what we're looking at. You know, that's that's what I can't wait for is the streams of the parties. Oh, you know there's going to be like 50 million of them up, and I swear to God, you're going to have like a million clips. I guarantee you, tomorrow, you're going to have probably like 100 clips for Monetize This, so don't worry about it. Well, <laughs> well, what's going on is they're saying like marketers are killing it, dude. Like people are making a ton of money on articles about this. I'm live course, doing yeah. like 25,000 people have come in here tonight. Like, yeah, no, was that, I was actually surprised I got my call through. I called like twice, and I was like, oh, hey, come on. Well, oh, I guess dude. I'll talk. So many calls <laughs> are coming in right now, dude. There's, I, I just, while we've been talking, I, I've missed 100 calls since we've been talking That's almost. like fucking it's, insane, dude. It's That's crazy. fucking insane. People are going off tonight. But, yeah, the marketing is nuts. Everybody's... You know, having a fun time with this, it's getting it's getting people talking, it's bringing people together. I think, like, I don't know, that's the cool thing no, it about kinda, it. it. Yeah, yeah, it kind of. I'm sorry, I keep I, I keep talking over you. I'm sorry. No, it's but, all good. Um, it's the I'll, Skype sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, but yeah, man, it, it's a fun time, and you know, people are kind of partying about it, but it's not gonna be anything big, so it's all good. It, it I mean, it. You know, I I believe in aliens and all that shit. Of course, I do. You know, like, how are we not? you know, the only fucking organism in the world. But it's like, there's got to be something else out there, and I'm sure other things have come to us. But at the same time, you know, the government's going to try to cover it up, and yada, yada, yada. They're not going to have, like, fucking, uh, you know, thousands of ravers come up on Area 51. They're, you know, they got precautions on that, I'm sure, but whatever. I, dude, it, it's just silly. How me. funny silly. would it be if some dude's, like, on fucking, <laughs> like, some guy's on angel dust running towards the yeah. the building, like, fucking, ah, oh, with the fucking glow sticks and shit, fucking, <laughs> just fucking, I just oh my did, God. like, fucking three snorts. I'm going at it, guys. <laughs> well, there went, <laughs> well there, there went little Timmy. He was the first one in. I yeah. don't know what happened to him. Fuck it. Timmy, Timmy's <laughs> We're going to go out now. here and fuck these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm, all right, I'm done. All right. But, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to call in, let you know, and just say you're doing a good job, man. Keep it up and take some other calls, and I'll mm. enjoy the show, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Good shit. I'm going longer than I expected to tonight because this Area 51 topic's huge. What you do? You put that ah! All right, Tommy. Jesus. Calm down, bro. Calm down, dude. Come on. Come on, bro. A lot of people are there. A lot of people saying this shit's crazy right now. Uh, we're look. I'm um, I'm looking for Kodak, who's got. He, he said he was going to be doing a live stream, so I'm looking for his live stream. I want to know what the hell he's doing right now. You know what I mean? Like, cause he's got to be. I mean, it's dark out. You know, by now it's fucking dark. So what do you? You know, what are you doing? 
You know, you got to be doing something kind of crazy if, uh, I mean, how are you going to see anything? You know, that's what I don't understand. Like how many, what type of lights do they have out there? You know, what type of things are they doing? You know, I don't, I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they could possibly be, be, uh, doing because it's so fucking dark, man. That's what I'm telling you. Like, it's so, it's so dark. I don't know what they're going to stream unless they have like these floodlights or these, you know, they're streaming something, you know, what the hell are they going to do? I'm not really sure. Remember Kodak, I wonder what, imagine if Kodak Black went down there. Imagine Kodak Black going down to the alien raid with his pink Cadillac or pink car or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> what, what, what is Kodak? Doesn't he have that pink car? Where, where's that? Remember that video of Kodak Black with his, with his fucking car? Kodak Black looks like a Simpsons character. Where's that pink and car? Yeah, there it is right here. There it is. Boom. Imagine driving that. You know there's a bunch of guys down at the Area 51 raid with uh, with cars like this. You know, just fucking like styling cars, looking for bitches, looking for looking for girls, like you know, creepy dudes, just out there looking to lurk on women. You know, in these cars. You know, they're driving these cars and they're like, "Yeah, this is great." Was arrested. The other two count, which is just stupid. That and by the way, he got out of jail too. He got out of jail. Been in there. <laughs> Joel Lazarus ordered him to remain incarcerated until his attorney makes another request. He has a bunch of JD dicks on his head. Yeah, oh. <laughs> You wouldn't believe the shit in this guy's video. I believe everything. What's he even saying right here? I was just thinking about my family. They been feeling like that I've been. They been feeling like I had a been in there. Look at the pink phantom. Look at my pink faggot car. 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 What is this music? What is this? <laughs> Look at hey, my he, pink guys, faggot car. He doesn't get a pass. This guy, he's a fucking... He, talks, he gets a pass for being... Tommy, this guy is a like a rich rapper, and he's wanted for child neglect. Like, he fuck gets a pass guy. for being in the movie theater and saving all of us. Look at my pink this. faggot car. Look at my pink faggot car. <laughs> oh, no. I was just thinking about my family. They've been feeling like that I've been. Uh, thinking about my faggot like family. Faggot car. <laughs> Why the fuck I'm walking around here with a clock? What is he saying? What is he saying? What is this? I think I'm going to race my faggot car. I fucking know about my faggot car. I think I'm going to family and you know. What's up to my boys? I'm wearing half fucking shit on my wall, smoking that doobie in my faggot car. I'm spinning out on my fucking faggot quad. I'm waving like a faggot up to God. Oh my God, that car almost hit me. Oh my God, we almost died shooting this music video. Hey, oh my somehow, oh my what the fuck, my. Yo, yo, check out my faggot quad, my faggot car, now I'm in jail because I don't give a fuck about my kid, I got a faggot kid, I got a faggot life, yo, somebody get that light out my face, I'm on my Oh my god, I had to play. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I had to play that. I haven't fucking heard that in a long time, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kodak Black, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm joking. Oh boy. Super chat. 
Super chat. Answer my damn call. <laughs> when was this donated? DT, thanks for the $2. I don't know when you donated that, though. I don't know when you donated that, man, but thank you for the donation, man. What's up, Mike? How you doing, dude? Oh, you perros esquireros. Uh, Willow the Kitten, thanks for subbing, Willow the Kitten. How you doing? This fuck's up. Man, it's too bad. Where the fuck, you know, it's too bad that, uh, you know, Dave Rose wasn't here tonight. He would have loved tonight. He would have loved this Area 51 shit, you know? Watching you to enjoy it. Here's some moolah smiling face with Aww. horns turkey. Casey Rose. Casey, so much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I love you. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? No, I love you. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I love you. I love you so much. I want to sit on your face. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. Link it and tag it. All right, here we go. I found some uh, footage of the raid. Um, Temps, thanks you very much. Appreciate that. Hold on. Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. Let's see if we can find... Um, we have a couple people here. I'm looking for the... Uh, Whoa, that fucking audio is insane. Members, and also I saw some new members today. There's people at the raid right now. It's insane right now. Psycho, thank you for the subscription, man. What up, Psycho? Psycho, how you doing, man? There's a lot of different raid, a lot of different streams going on right now at the raid. It's pretty insane that the amount of people that are at the raid right now. Pretty crazy. They are. They're running generators. They're running generators there. Casey Jones, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Oh, she says we're too funny today. Thank you. We. I, I, I yeah. So they're running generators right now as we speak. I found their weakness. I've looked up every. I've seen so many different people. They'll never kill us. That's, uh, yeah. See, these guys are fucking. These guys are like. You're like. Oh, they're gonna be on acid later, getting shot. <laughs> I feel They're looking for chicks right now. So bad telling them things like that. Oh no, no, Jake. No, Jake's okay. You, people, people, people will think you're actually crying, and then they'll get mad at me, send me hate mail. Don't this worry, is weird, man. Emotions. Holy moly, yeah. holy eating macaroni. Jake's just a preacher. Didn't come. This guy's got the fucking Axel yeah, Rose uh, bandana on. Subscribe and do all that if you're new here. We're we're happy to entertain anyone. Just, uh, I hope they just so, make uh, out with each other. We even love you guys using. Wouldn't it be funny if they we just started everybody. making out with each other? We love everybody. Dumbo said, pouting face what, uh, with the best Should we the interview the, the, the minion people? Sure. This is riveting right now. You, all you can hear is generators. There's like nobody there, but there's just tons of generators running. Oh, shit. What's going down? What are you guys got going on? Yeah, doing that. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh, no, we're no, doing we're, live we're, we're live right now with 11,000 people. Oh, hell yeah. We're not a professional. We're LDG Station. We'll probably be changing the name of the future. He's Liam. That's Daniel. What's your name? Oh, there we go. We're looking for Dilk Wilkerson. He's there. We know Dilk is there, everybody. We know Dilk is there. Where is he, though? That's what I'm looking for. I want to see him. Somebody needs to clarify. John, can you clarify if Dilk is alive? Please clarify if, jo if Dilk Wilkerson is alive. Um, I'm thinking about giving out 20 bucks for the best Naruto run. You can't even hear me. How do we do that? Uh, I, I mean, like, how do we, how do we gather everyone? Not like everyone, everyone, but a good amount. What is this, the gathering of the Juggalos? I mean, this is the gathering of the, like, this is the gathering of the, like, guaranteed to not have tattooed white people. Guaranteed to ha not have tattoos, white people. Dude, that red bandana. I feel like he's going to get murdered, like, wearing that red bandana. Like, that's some kind of a weird gang sign or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that means, like, you want to cornhole the Taliban or something. Like, somebody's going to, like, fuck this kid, like, up because he's got that red, 
like turban thing on his head like and then this guy's wearing fuzzy fucking like what has happened to the men in this country man the there are no men in this country anymore all the younger men like they're just so weird they're all like hey what's up it's, it's this is jack he's wearing a panda hat oh, look at this panda hat and you're like oh you guys are cool what do you guys cup are you guys a couple what do you guys a uh, couple a uh, couple that's cool and then it's like no we're, what are you talking about we're not gay and you're like yeah you are aren't you no what do you mean this is just my panda hat and this is his 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 really funny rag hell oh man we always make fun of our ha 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 and you're like okay you guys aren't gay though like no like it's like i don't care if you are that's cool man Every, everybody can do whatever they want it's okay no seriously like we're not what are you talking about why would you think we are it's so weird anyway let's go walk around the desert together Oh my God. So Chad, I'm going to wear this red bandana and you just, you know what? I really wish I had worn my fucking polar bear like cap with my weird sweater, douchebag ski guy sweater thing that you're wearing. I'm going with, I'm going with Axl Rose if he was in the Taliban. That's right. This is Axl Rose if he was in the Taliban. Oh my God. My friend Matthew just texted me, everybody. Did you hear this? My friend Matthew just texted me. He said that I could gobble him. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's fucking, let's walk all the way to the raid. Let's look at all this noise. I'll film it, baby. I'll film you blowing me. In chat if you want to be my room space GM post I'm so sorry we're not able to read the chat quick enough, guys. Be sure to, we'll start GM doing some more uh, real life live streams with this uh, satellite in the future. So hopefully, like with the ones that aren't as crazy, we'll get to know some of you. Because back, back when we were smaller, we used to try to get to know all of our subs and all that. It was, um, we, you know, we never got to know all of them, all of them, but the ones who talked. We tried to get to know our subs and everything. Thing, like oh this is so weird we're just doing this for like subs and donations we tried to get to know our subs like back in the day we just tried to get to know our subs these fucking people don't know what the fuck they're talking about dude what a fucking joke this is hilarious let's try to get our subs and our subs to go put your camera in the generator i want them to go put your camera in the generators <laughs> what is this man um, what time does the raid officially start tomorrow is a good question. That's, that's one that, you know, we actually could figure that out. We need to figure that out because I don't know this whole world is so sad, man. It's just everybody being like, shut up my channel. Did you see my channel? Shut up my channel. Uh, that's not how you do YouTube, man. I've been on fucking YouTube since 2007. I started on YouTube in 2007, man. It's not how you do it. I got my buddy fucking to 100k subs by something. Like, it's just, you gotta work at it. Or you gotta do something crazy. It's like, you can't just be like, yo, we talk to all our subs. Like, we'll meet you guys. Like, we'll seriously, like, everybody that subs, like, we're gonna meet all of you guys. Seriously. Who the fuck wants, what, the subs don't want to meet you, man. That's fucking weird. Like, come on, man. We're gonna meet you. I'm gonna meet every single one of you guys. Like, seriously. Oh my god. That's weird. Anyway, Josh. Yeah, Josh, I'm going to meet you. You subbed. I'm going to meet you. <laughs> Fuck am I watching, dude? Rivers Plushies. What's up, Rivers Plushies? Wow, that's funny because my son bought a bunch of plushies today. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, JCS Army should have its own raid in Orgy tonight. I agree with that. My name is... Yes. What's up, Mike? I'm Joe Cronin from the Joe Cronin Show, but we are live on Corrupted Nation right now. Uh, there's Kings right there. Kings, thank you for a sub. A lot of King names tonight. A lot of Kings this, Kings that, King that, King this, King me, King him. Oh, yeah. Pour me a beer. You've got a new Dark Knight 777, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's up? Um, yeah, pretty good job by Bill Burr and H3H3. This time, this time Bill Burr didn't have a fucking pickle up his ass and h3h3 H3 didn't freak out so congrats to ethan for not freaking the fuck out this time stella chesser thanks for subbing i did see dan Aykroyd on joe rogan's show i've always liked dan Aykroyd, so it was really cool obviously as a younger kid it was mostly about ghostbusters but you know dan Aykroyd's always been awesome um i i you know i don't think that they got to i don't think the podcast was as good as i was hoping it was but it was still pretty good. We got some Ghostbuster news. Uh, Danny Lay Reyes, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's up? Have a fucking beer for you as well. 
And the Skull uh, Vodka that, you know, Dan Aykroyd has been peddling that shit for years. And it really is pretty fucking wild, dude. I had a, I, I bought it a long time ago, and we drank some of that um, Crystal Skull uh, vodka. I bought it after the whole Indiana Jones movie. I was so I became interested yeah, yeah. in the skulls. Go Yankees, fuck Boston, lol. Oh. My apologies for the hiatus. Been really busy working on my album. Stay tuned, JCS Army. It won't disappoint. Anyways, nothing but love, fam. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Gook, gook, <laughs> gook, gook. Andre Peasy, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, dude. And, and I will play whatever video you release when the CD comes out, or the album, or the download, or whatever you call it nowadays. Uh, WWE fan two hundred two, what's up? Thanks for subbing. You're in the right place. Definitely sub my other channel. Make sure you sub Joe Cronin Show. Joe Cronin Show, sixty six thousand subscribers. We talk WWE over there. Um, Andale Peasy, thank you, Andale Peasy. Here we go, about to get it, man. Here we go. Buenos noches. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. Brahim. Joe, do you think it's aliens or the Archons our governments mess with more? Archons like interdimensional beings are in all religions and cultures. Yeah, uh, Brahim, thank you so much, Brahim. It is, it is, um, it is interesting to get into sort of the idea of the Nephilim. And or the idea of demons or, yeah, the, these archons that are like it, sort of existing on a different plane or interdimensional. I'm not a very religious sort of guy, but one of the things about it is there is this repetitive truth about these demons or archons uh, no matter where you turn. So uh, in, in multiple different religions... And things like that. So yeah, that is a whole, a whole stream. You know, a whole crazy stream you could do. You know, I don't listen to Owen as much. That Owen Benjamin guy. I don't listen to him as much anymore. But I heard a stream from him yesterday, where he was comparing all this stuff to the Princess Bride, and he really went into that. Like he was really sort of nailing that, and it was wild, man. I heard that podcast. It was pretty fucking crazy. I know a lot of people don't listen to him anymore because he like he like exiled himself from Hollywood, uh, but because he does, he just doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care about swear, you know, dropping any words. He says his comedy is extreme. Um, so now all of Hollywood thinks I think I think they think he's like a racist and a homophobe, racist, all these different things, whatever. You know, I don't know. He just seems like a comedian to me. I don't agree with all the stuff he says. But he's, he really broke down some of that the other day in, in a podcast that was pretty friggin' mind-blowing. He's got this obsession, um, and he really went into it the other day. Um, pretty crazy. But yeah, it could be that. It could be It could be that. I mean, I don't, I don't think so, but I'm definitely interested in more about that, learning more about that. I don't know uh, too much about that. I definitely also think it's possible that the government, you know, they could be testing their own shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, when we see that or when the... Air Force, when the Air Force sees these vehicles moving in like in insane ways that like don't seem possible, and that potentially is a test or is it potentially us using technology or somebody using technology that the rest of us aren't aware of, and the Air Force isn't made aware of it either, so they're chasing their own ass and they don't even know it, and they report it as a UFO, you know, so that's possible too, but. You know, it's definitely possible, but it could be interdimensional. They could be interdimensional beings. They could be interdimensional aliens and things like that, that we're seeing pop into our reality or pop into our existence, whether it has to do with the low atmosphere, because a lot of this times it's up in the sky that you see these things. So it could have something to do with that. could have something to do with they're always here. Um, I would assume if they did not want to be seen, they wouldn't be seen. You know, something so advanced, they wouldn't be seen. Is it a parallel dimension? that's bleeding into ours that's another question is it bleeding into ours and so therefore we're seeing that that's a possibility as well and i'm looking and people in the chat are saying k den s thank you saying 6 a.m eastern time is the is going to be the uh the raid tomorrow the raid whatever happens at 6 a.m eastern time but that's 3 a.m in the morning over there so people are saying the raid is really going to start in the middle of the night? The guy really thought maybe the raid would start at like 10 a.m. You know, most of these people, 
It's like, dude, don't you guys want to go to bed, you know, have a good nap, you know, sleep in the desert, and then come out there? I don't know. Why would people hide in plain sight? That's also a good uh that's also a good point as well. You know, why would why would why I mean maybe they would, but maybe the government probably would. Because they can write off so many different things, it's almost insane. Sniper Fox Vlogs Gaming and Plus More. Jesus. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. <laughs> Sniper Vlogs Gaming and Plus More. And also, my dad's coming over at 7 p.m. Jesus. A, You've got a, new subscriber. a lot of people are going to die here at this uh, at this raid, potentially. People are very worried about that. Faith Garcia. Faith Garcia, thank you very much for the... Uh, Subscription, man. Welcome uh, to Corrupted Nation. We'll have videos every day. Pour me a beer. And you may not always agree with me, but we can talk about it, man. If you disagree with me on something, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or call or whatever it is. Uh, Adrian Chan. Thank you, Adrian Chan, for subscribing. What's up? Good to hear from you. Let me know how the raid's going for you guys. Love to hear from you. you Wayne T., thanks subscriber. for subbing to the channel, man. People are saying it's going to be a bloodbath. J.R. in the chat says it's going to be a damn bloodbath. Oh, man, I don't know what time it is. You'd have to convert your own time, but I can tell you it's 6 a.m. Eastern time. So I know that. That's one thing that's for sure. Can we get 11,000? Oh, 11,000 subs uh, tonight? Yeah, probably I will get to 11,000 subs tonight because we're killing it right now. I think we're at 11,000 already. You've got a new subscriber. Uh, yeah, we're really close, man. Um, Sunday spreading. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're pretty close to 11,000 subs. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to sub, feel free to make sure you sub right now, baby. Yeah. Sub for Super the aliens. Yeah. Thoughts on Kevin Hart getting sued for sex tape. Are you serious? He's getting sued? Jesus. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look more into that. Damn, didn't you just get in that car? No, that was somebody else, right? Kevin Hart's had problems. I gotta look that up, though. He's getting sued for the sex tape? Well, because, what, did he secretly record the girl? Let me go look it up real quick. Shout out to New Zealand and Australia. Lots of friends out there. Um, I don't know. I gotta look this up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, YouTube Kiss, thanks for subbing to the channel. Kevin Hart facing 60 million sex scandal. That's bullshit. Dude, who the fucking 60 million dollars? That seems insane. Like, that amount of money. Ori, uh, my man, thank you very much for subbing. I'm going to the phone calls. Four eight zeros on the phone. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? I just think all these people are really retarded trying <laughs> to raid Area 51. Yeah, I mean, I think there's some people that are actually going there that actually want to do it, and they they are like retarded. But I would say that that like I'm I'm gonna say that the majority of them are like just kind of like thrill seekers who are like so caught up in the moment they just want to go down and have some kind of party. I mean, I think that that's got to be mostly what it is. Or like people like this YouTuber here who just kind of want to gain subs and shit and say they're there, you know. Right. No, and if they do it and actually go past the line and they get shot, they're going to bitch and moan about it. Yeah, I mean, dude, I mean, these people, I got to believe that they're not that stupid. They got to know, like, the government's not joking. Like, they, they, they have the right to kill you. Like, if you go, <laughs> they can just shoot yeah, you and there's they nothing. They already pre-warned everybody not to do it. Yeah, and think about the weaponry that they, they have. So if there was, like, thousands of people... They have the weaponry to take people out, you know, like giant pulses and microwaves. And I mean, that's that's the only thing. That's the only reason why I kind of want to see about 10,000 people rate it. Because what would the government do, man? They they have so many different ways, though, to hurt people. Like they could they could bomb them. Yeah. But I'm wondering if they'd use True. they could use some. Well, it would also thin out the stupid people, too, if you think about it. Yeah, you're right. We need to get rid of some people, too. So this could help out, to be honest. You know, I can, right, see, man. I can see them pulling yeah, like this. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you for the call. I can see them right. pulling out these bullhorns, like these giant sirens that are just like, Hee! like just fucking at a frequency that just fucks your head up so bad. Like just a frequency that's so fucking crazy. 
And it's like nobody's going to want to go near it with that frequency coming out of it. You know what I mean? That would be the safest way to, to probably deter hundreds or thousands of people from raiding uh, you know, a government area or something like that. People want to see the nuke. Yeah, some people in the chat are saying, some sickos in the chat, man, they want to see the goddamn nuke come in. And that's certainly possible. But if you're new to the channel, what are you doing right now? Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the damn bell. Hit the subscribe button. YouTube doesn't practically pay me shit anymore at all. We don't make any money really on YouTube ads anymore. So if you'd like to donate, the link is in the description box down below. Or you can use the super chat feature, whichever one you want to do. You put diapers on my kids and you put cocaine in my... No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't do cocaine. Fuck that. Don't do drugs. Seriously. What do people think about vaping? This is a guy vaping in Alien 51. Oh, no, not the vaping. Cigarettes kill, like, fucking millions of people, but not the vaping. Fucking Triple E is going to kill more people than the vaping by the end of this summer, to be honest. The way Triple E is going right now. The mosquito uh, disease, for the people that don't know what that is. I'm in Massachusetts, so there's a lot of that out here. Especially even near Boston, like, the mosquitoes are there. Bye. Thank you. Bye. How you doing, man? What's up? Yeah, a lot of gamers, a lot of gamers are going to die tonight. Let's be honest. A lot of gamers are going to be die, man, are going to die, man. Unfortunately, Chapo 72313000 million 75 Thanks for something. What's up? The Cronin's Hooker's Blow Fund, Daniel Price. I do not have a Hooker's Blow Fund, you bastard. Josh Julian, thanks for subbing to the channel, man. It's good to hear from you, and I appreciate you subbing to the channel. Thank you for coming over. Uh, if you came over from the other one. Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. Hungary uh, Pongiasso. I probably just butchered the shit out of your name. I'm so sorry about that. I am. I did get a G. I did not graduate high school, so that, that's my excuse. It's probably that. That's probably why Pour I can't pronounce your name. You've got a new I'm subscriber. betting. Um, so when thank you for seven what's up what do you guys think in the chat what do you think is going to happen on a scale of one to ten do you guys think they're that people are just going to get massacred or is it just going to be a party uh give me a one in the chat if it's going to be a party give me a six 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 in the chat if you think people are getting massacred i'd love to hear from you guys in the chat let me know one for a party six 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 for a massacre um andy thanks for subbing to the channel good to hear from you bro Get that cocaine ready. I know you're ready for it. Double X Gamex, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's been up, bro? How are you tonight? If Jabroni Jabber is still around, Jabroni, man, you call up, man. I'll put you on, bro. We'll have a good time. We'll have a goddamn good time. And look at that chat starting rolling. Ooh, lots of 666 going on. That's not good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Marvin what giving me the 666. Holy shit. Uh, blank statue, 7075. Thank you, Blank Statue. Good to hear from you. Pour me a beer, my friend. Absolutely. Absolute vodka. Pour me a beer. You've got a new Dill Pill 702. What's up, Dill? Everybody give Dill Pill a shout out in the chat. Dill Pill 702. Wow. Oh, 6969. That's when everybody just decides to cornhole each other instead of uh, running at the raid. That's going to be a good time. Justin Wyatt, what's up, man? Yeah, if the hippies, if this was the hippies back in the 1970s or so, uh, I would go with 6969 over 666 and 1. I would say definitely it will just be one big sex fest before anybody gets anywhere near it, which would be the best thing really for everybody if you think about it. Roblox God. Man, you better be damn good at Roblox if you're a Roblox God. Let me tell you that, man. Let me tell you that. So many 666s. Roblox God. Wow. Dill Pill. Dill Pickle. Wow, this is crazy right now. This is getting really crazy. Mr. Potato, thanks for some these fucking names are getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Potato. Tommy, what do you think about the raid? What you do? You put that ah! All right, Tommy. Thank you very much. I think it's very important to take a break uh, right now from talking about the raid and make sure that we um, basically we go back in time and we never forget... Um, you know, something very important on this show that happened. And it was the time that our friend had a lightsaber battle with his friend. It was very weird. They had a lightsaber battle and the guy almost bashed his head. It was a viral video. If everybody remembers that viral video. Um, and this happened on my podcast, by the way, if you guys are not a patron, what are you doing? 
Become a patron. We have 385 patrons. Over 30 hours of bonus content that you cannot hear on YouTube. Ever. It's on Patreon. Download the episodes. All this bonus shit. Me and my wife's podcast. Plus the Corrupted Podcast. This took place on the Corrupted Podcast not that long ago. If you guys recall... And uh, this, it's kind of like aliens because this man looks like an alien. I'm just kidding. Boy, is that the bloody weed this guy's a very big Star Wars fan. You guys remember this video? It was viral for a little bit. He's a very big Star Wars fan. He's also into airsoft guns. I was going to do it, weed jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's all of it. Oh, oh this is going to be filthy mouth, bo I mean, bomb it with the goddamn belt soon. Filthy mouth, bomb it. <laughs> I love this video. <laughs> Look at how he runs and he's like... <laughs> oh, wait. Doing this out in the neighborhood in front of... Watch this. Just this is great. Oh my god. Good, bro. I'm dying. I think I did. I think I just shit myself. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just shit myself. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. 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 Moving like waves. Oh, man, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna die. <laughs> he looks like that vacuum cleaner's up his ass. I found this. Yeah. I found this yesterday. I was fucking losing my mind, bro. <clears throat> it's sad because when I was like 11, that's what I looked like, bro. Says <laughs> Kinder 25. I know. <laughs> Look at this guy, look at this guy. Anger is not the way of the jet. Oh. 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 I swear to you, I could never watch anything else ever if I could just watch that one part right there. Anger is not the way of the jet. Oh. Oh. Did you hear me go? Oh! Oh! oh. But yeah, I felt bad for this guy. This guy actually went on to um he actually went on to get a, like over hundreds of thousands of subscribers. At the time that this video was kind of like mini viral, um, he had about 20, he ended up gaining like 20,000 subs and I, we were reaching out to him to get him on the show. I remember I talked to him for a little while and then like, and then he got another influx of subs like a month later. It was like way later, like weeks later, like way after this. And then he got like, like this just giant influx of subs and he was like, oh, you know, Hey everybody. And he started making like these vlogs and shooting his airsoft gun and stuff. And I was like, oh man. And he really kind of squandered it. He squandered his subs because all these people were so entertained by this video that was so ridiculous. And then his other video was really funny, too, where he like was acting like an idiot. And it really reminded me of Boogie. It reminded me of Boogie 2988. And I wanted to I was trying to reach out to him because, I mean, listen, I'm no fucking celebrity or anything like that. I mean, my other channel has 66,000 subs. This one has, you know, 10,000. And, you know, I helped Tommy get 100,000 with that whole thing. And, you know, I, I've worked with a lot of people who have gotten lots of subs and stuff like that, and I've helped them. Um, and just, you guys you guys all know this. It's not me. You guys know just as much as I do. The people wanted to see this guy do more goofy shit. You know, like, 
like fat guy humor. That's what they wanted. I'm not saying that that's the nicest thing or that's the right thing for him, but people wanted like, you know, fat guy humor. They wanted him like rolling downstairs and fucking, you know, hitting on a girl at Wendy's and then like falling over and sh they wanted more stuff like that. So, you know, I was like, dude, you got to do more funny, goofy shit with the lightsaber. Like, think about a way to, like, do that and, like, be make more videos that are just, like, funny as shit. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Uh, you know, and do that. But instead he was, like, doing videos where he's like, I'm depressed. Hey, everybody. my, And then, like, you know, like, you know, airsoft gun videos that really you couldn't see anything and just little vlogs of him talking about things. And I, I just remember a lot of people just didn't care yet. And I was like, no, keep doing those funny videos. Nail those out. And then... If he had, if he had done like a funny video every couple days, and then maybe like done Q and A's, I think that would have worked out for him great. But yeah, I feel bad for him. Like I don't know. Like right now, I don't think I don't know what he does now. Let me look up. It's like Airsoft Fatty or something like that is his channel. Yeah, he's got three hundred and nineteen thousand subscribers. When we played that video, he only had like ten thousand subs. When we played that video, and then he didn't get any for a while. And then, um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. He's just, he's honest. At least he's not like, he's not like faking stuff like, or like being dishonest and stuff like that. He's just making videos, you know, that he wants to make. And dude, he even has one video that has 8.4 million views. Like he, he's had multiple different videos that have gone viral. It's insane. But he's but actually you know what to be honest I'm looking at his channel now and he's still killing it. He's actually doing way better than I thought he was doing. He's got like 88,000 views a video. That's pretty fucking awesome for his random videos, you know. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should shut up. Maybe I fucking maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. He's fucking killing it in these videos now that I look at it. Damn. Maybe I'm wrong. What the fuck do I know? With like fucking I've got I've got 60 million views over all my channels probably 60 million. He's probably got like a fucking billion or multiple billions. God damn. No, I'm not taking credit for Airsoft Fatty. No, I'm not I'm not taking credit for it. I was saying at the time I had hoped he had kept making funnier videos cuz I was like, "Come on, no, this the people would really freak out if he kept making goofy videos." Like like Fat Man plows through like cinder blocks and you know like just goof goofy videos like that i thought you know he should have made but i mean maybe i'm fucking wrong dude funny bong recently went viral really so like, yeah he, so he keeps making viral videos so i take it back i'm wrong i mean whatever he's doing it's still working it's killing it i'm looking at his channel right now it's killing it still yeah i'm, I'm a moron i am so wrong his fucking channel is still killing it I am wrong. I am worried about the guns in the video because you know how YouTube is now with guns and he does a lot of like airsoft guns and stuff like that. Pretty soon, you know, his videos are going to come down because YouTube's going to be like, ooh, they got the guns in the video. So that I, I'd be worried about that too. But ah, fuck, I should worry about myself and figure out how to entertain my audience. Here, you've got a new Stupid me. Anyway, the Area 51 raid, it's still going down, baby. It starts at 6 a.m. Eastern time, 3 a.m. out there. It's going to be nuts. Aaron Hastings, thank you for subbing to the channel. We're going to take more phone calls. 339-226-6610. Matthias Suf Ward. Matthias Suf? Matthias Suf? I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm butchering that. I'm kind of a moron. 912, what's up? Pour me a beer. You've got a new Mr. Mailman, thanks for subbing. 912, how you doing? 912, hey. 912, you are live, baby. You turn that radio down. Man. Hello. What's up? What do you think about the raid? I think um, either people are going to get really drunk and party, or we're going to get uh, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of dumb dead people. Oh, okay. What do you think about it? Uh... I don't know. I'm just going to watch and see what happens. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for this. I think it's just going to be a big college frat party. That's what I think. I think a bunch of kids, younger, and dude, even myself. I mean, I'm 35 and I'm hyped. I kind of want to go out there and party around too. I mean, I get it. But that's all I think it is. I think it's going to be one big sort of reason to party. And I don't think, 
I don't think anybody's going to get dumb enough or have the balls to go out there. Oh, iDubs put him on? Yeah, that's why. That's why iDubs put him on the channel. That's why. Area 51, baby. 6 a.m. It's coming up. People are ready to go. Hi. Hey, 510, what's up? So, is is it actually going to be real? I think it is going to be real. I mean, people are there. They're ready to go. I mean, I don't I don't know. Yeah. They you know. are. Even my friends. Yeah, I mean, I, there's people down there. I don't think they're going to raid. I don't think they're going to, like, by, I mean, by raid, I mean, you know, storming to the front of Area 51 and doing anything. I can't believe anybody's going to really do that. I, I just see this sort of as a fun, goofy social party, I think, is what's going to happen. I don't think anybody's going to have the, the, you know what I mean, the determination or gall to really, you know, raid or, or run towards the military base. I mean... I can't believe that would happen. I mean, God, I mean, I, I mean, I'd like to see it, <laughs> but I don't want to see anybody die, though. I mean, we're joking about it. You know, it'd be funny if they got blown up. But I mean, dude, I mean, I, I don't really want to see anybody die. I mean, that would be fucking terrible. Eight oh one, what's up? Yo. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing? Good and you. What? Are you guys at the raid up right now? I got some people at the raid. These guys are down there. There's generators going. There's not a lot of people there, though. That's the thing. I don't see a lot of people. I don't know when the people are going to come or whatever. Uh, I'm but. planning on, on probably being there maybe in about an hour or two. Hell yeah, I'm man. heading on my way over there right now, yeah. Look, I'm, I live out here in Utah. That's why the 801. Well, not that so far. Okay. Good amount of hour drive. We've been on... We've been driving for like the past four or five hours or so. Damn, man. Everybody's, there's people driving, listening to this show right now. It's crazy. Just look for the gringo yeah. in the red, in the red bandana. He seems like a nice guy at the raid. Yeah. My cousin has a YouTube out on his phone. I know it. <laughs> he, the guy you just mentioned is on his phone right now. I know who you're talking about. Oh, really? That's your, you know him? Well, I don't know him, no, but like I'm saying, I know who you're talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, but yeah, he's there. He seems like a good, good dude. Fucking square up yeah. with him, it'd be cool. That's hey, a I just have a quick question. If, like, let's say we all do end up raiding and end up getting in tomorrow, and we do find aliens, like, what would, what would be your first reaction? What if there actually are aliens there? Like, <laughs> what would we do with them? Or, well, we're gonna rape them for sure. No, I'm just, no, Wait. no, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, what if what? Hey, what if there's some fine ass alien hoochie mamas, man? I know, dude. Dude, I picture like a Dave Chappelle skill, skit from like 2004. Like the the people raid the place and they come out with like the alien's head on a stake, you know? For real? <laughs> no, I don't know, bro. Like, I mean, there, there's no way. No one's getting close to this place because I'm telling you, yeah. man. Like microwave radiation, like all kinds of shit, laser beams. Like, dude, they would just blow people up. Like, nobody would ever make it near it because they have the technology the government would use. And by the way, there's not aliens in there. There's no way they're there. And it, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure they moved them out a long time ago or something. Yeah, even if they even if there were aliens there at one point, yeah, they're they're not there anymore. They're they're somewhere else. I'm betting they're in Colorado. To be honest, I think they're in Colorado. Maybe because everything is in Colorado, dude. That's where they're building all the mountain bases. All the underground stuff, that's where they think, you know, everybody's going to be safe when the, if the poles shift or if Planet X comes <laughs> or whatever, dude. They think, like, all the government, Dick Cheney, dude, whatever Dick Cheney does, I'm down with that. That guy's a psycho. Like, he's got all these bunkers built in Colorado. Like, if anything, something's up there, you know, that's where that shit is. That's where they put some of the viruses and all the plants. I know they do that yeah. up in Alaska, too, but... Probably, man. We probably got to raid one of them places next. Yeah, now that would be more smart. Like, find out where the shit that those places are. Plus, um, according to Bob Lazar, you know this this stuff took place in a different building anyway, way back in the even well, not way back, but I mean, even in the eighties. You know, good call, man. I don't know. Have fun driving to the raid. Picture a bunch of zombie motherfucking people just <laughs> just running towards the mountain. Running towards this place. It's really happening, man. These guys are there. The generators are going, dude. This this goddamn's got Thanos' arm, for Christ's sake. It's really weird. What the hell's he doing with Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet?
<laughs> fucking guy's got a puppy on his head and Thanos' is Infinity Gauntlet. What the hell is going on? What is wrong with this world? Gamer ZY, thanks for subbing to the channel. Gamer ZY, I appreciate that. Pour me a beer. You've got a Lefo, thank you for subbing as well. What is going on, Lefo? Good to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, this is really weird. Pour me a beer. You've got Skullfire, thank you, Skullfire, for subbing to the channel, man. Let's see what else they're saying now. Jake, and that's Daniel. Really weird, man. These guys are all getting ready for the raid. Go sub to Elixir. I like him. A lot of streamers out there. TTV Bubble Nine, thanks for subbing to the channel. We're watching all the different raids going on here, or people getting ready for the raid, I suppose. We're we're pawn scum. Is that what you just said? We're the lowest of the low. Liam, you got my phone. I can't tell what they're saying. What's happening there? Oh guys, I'm so sorry, guys. We've been trying to. We're trying to multitask. We're trying to charge the batteries so we can keep it going. How many batteries are they gonna have to charge to like think about all the batteries and okay, the Okay, um Thanks for subbing Doge. Eric Eric gave us yo shout my boy Illegally Brown. Illegally Brown? Okay. Shout out to shout out to your friend. Um and we will we will be clapping the cheeks. Two hundred rubles, yeah, greetings from Russia. Very strange, man. I can't believe they're doing this. Spiltsy guy, thank you for subbing to the channel. To What's up? Tonight, I will make Jake do the most epic break dance of all time. It's funny how we've doubled our subscriber numbers in like an hour. Really? Dude, who the hell wants to watch you do a break dance? Are you kidding me? Like, oh, I can't wait to see this guy do a break dance. It's going to be great. Um, we're trying to fight Jake Paul. Unbelievable. K Toto, thanks for subbing to the channel. What's up, K Toto? How are you? She's bigger than us. I mean, he's definitely bigger than us. Those other guys had a million. Man, we gotta send. Um, we gotta send uh, Tommy and C out there. These guys are like marks. Team Demi, thanks for subscribing to the channel, man. What's up? These guys are like marks for like YouTube. They're like, oh, subs. Like, I don't know. Like, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just like, oh, we're gonna fucking stream and Jake Paul. Like, what the fuck are they doing, dude? Must be a lot of kids watching or something. Xandra Rowan. What up, Xander Rowan? How you doing? Thanks for following me. Did you guys see that school shooter Sandy Hook video that they've been putting out? With, like, using all your shit to get out of the school and the guy smashing the window with his, like, skateboard and shit? It's fucking crazy. Dude, it's wild. It's really wild. Uh, no, all my kids are asleep. What up, FaZe uh, Shadow? You can call, man. Anybody can call. It's all good. Uh, Danny Deadly is my Skype name. D-A-N-N-Y-D-E-A-D-L-Y. Danny Deadly is my Skype name if you need to Skype me that way. Otherwise, um, you can just call. We'll try to get you on. AJ Moore is calling. Jeez, it's been a while. Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. Asinine, thanks for subbing to the channel. What's up? AJ, what's up, man? Nothing. Just watching your fucking Area 51 raid, dude. This shit is ridiculous, man. I wish I was raiding, man. I wish I was raiding myself. I wish I was man, there. You, you, I guarantee 99% of them are going to the wrong county. They're probably, they're not even in Lincoln County where you fucking go to the right Area 51 gate. They're probably like four counties over. About <laughs> yeah. To get caught. yeah, they're in the wrong place. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, uh, if you type it in Google Maps, it takes you to the wrong county. Really? Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Who's that in the background? Is that your girl? Oh, yeah, that's my chick. She's like, oh, you're on Joe's too. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. She loves uh, she loves your turkey song. She oh, yeah. The, every time. People always <laughs> singing the turkey song. What's up, baby? <laughs> I'm leaving my wife. No, it's just... No, <laughs> no it's been a while, man. What's What have you been up to? Uh, dude, just uh, working for a wrestling company now. That's cool. That's pretty much it, yeah. I've been... Uh, I think I sent you some videos of it. It was heavy metal wrestling. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know why I can't get yeah. my video. Fortunately, my video is not working right now for you, but uh, it's not good, baby. I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. It's stupid when that happens. But yeah, dude, I'm yeah. waiting for something. I, I mean, hopefully something crazy happens. You know, everybody's get that feeling though that where everybody's like, yeah, I hope a lot of people get like destroyed. 
But, like, you don't really want people to get hurt, but we're all sick, and there's that weird, like, exciting vibe. Everyone's excited about nothing, really. You know what I mean? Sure. But but we are. Yeah. But people are excited. But it, why? Like, because people are standing around Area 51, but people are. Yeah. I was, like, I was, you know, I, I even heard it was going to be, like, an alien fest down there, and... But I heard that the guy who's running, who was running the thing, like they invented the whole like area, great area fifty one event. He's not gonna even be there. He's in Las Vegas right now, doing like a his own party. Oh really? So, Jesus. Yeah, people are making money. Is what's happening. I heard that it was like five hundred dollars to get like a tent and like a, a barbecue and shit and fucking restroom just to be in the fucking desert. I'm like, dude, that's fucking crazy. Man. The dude's not even there, and everybody's about to get caught or raided or okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's yeah, happening, I man. That, I don't got that kind of money to spend, dude. <laughs> that's yeah. what crazy shit. Yeah, forget that, dude. Forget that. People are running around selling hats and like glow sticks probably in the next couple hours. There's gonna be like vendors. There's gonna be like dudes with the um you know, the the food trucks are probably gonna make money if they're food trucks out there. Some alien blow up dolls, maybe. Yeah, alien blow up dolls with holes in the ass. <laughs> To clap cheeks. <laughs> no, I, I can't believe that's a real thing. Where are you? Are you in California? Uh, nah, bro. I'm in Texas. Really? Okay. So I'm like not too. I mean, I'm about to stay over, but every, a lot, I had a lot of people that were saying they were going over there. I yeah. Like, Good luck with you all of that. Just go to the right fucking gate. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be in crazy. Lincoln County. That's what it is. Lincoln County. My, um, <laughs> Leah's, uh, my wife's going to Texas next week because her brother's out there. Oh, that's right. Her, uh, her brother's all the way out here. That's crazy. Yeah, it's gonna. Man, be... you should come to Texas too. I know. I'm. I have to. I'm, I have to stay home and watch the kids, and then bring them to school, and then figure out, <laughs> and then do these shows, and sh it's gonna be crazy. Uh, gonna be a full time single parent for a yeah. week. <laughs> well, it's weird though. She actually figured this out already before I even knew it. She was calling like her mom and my mom, and I didn't even know about this. So apparently, I got oh. my, I got my mom coming over for like two days. So like they're like. People are coming over to help so I can do shows. Oh, okay, so. that's awesome. They're like an hour and a, an hour away from you too, so that's even better. That's fucking that's some great work right there. Teamwork. Yeah, she did that all on her own. I'm like, cool, that works out because she knew she was going away for the week. Um, but yeah, man, I would I don't know, I would have liked to go though, but I know what you mean. I would have liked to go too, just to fucking vibe it out and see. Oh, I just like to go to Texas. Like Not just like to go to Texas. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh there. Yeah, dude, come down, dude, bro. I tell you, come down. I fucking. I, I would love for you I'd to be on one of these commentary episodes, man. I'd, I'd fit in with all the uh, the other white shooters. <laughs> well, I mean, down here there's a lot of Mexican shooters, but that never makes news. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, that's like more like sort of like um, like gang related and stuff like that, I guess. Oh, lots of bad shit. Yeah, there's lots of crazy shit. Yeah, the border and stuff like that. It's really tough out there. The it's, it's uh it's crazy, man. There's a lot of I have friends that work out that worked out there and they were like, It's nuts, man, it's crazy. It's like you don't even know. It's Are like you, Do you know Texas, South Texas? Um oh where they where they are? Yeah, like San Antonio. I know people in San Antonio and uh I knew people in El Paso, San Antonio. Um, what's the other place in Texas that I know? San Antonio, El Paso. It's, um, yeah, uh, I mean, El Paso. Austin. There's a lot of people in Austin. I know. I've known a lot of people in Austin over the years. Uh, there's another place. So, oh, wait. I think it might be. It's not Waco. It's like Wyland or something like that. I don't know. I know somebody out there. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people, man. I know, and I got friends who. Um, I got friends who. Uh, who live in Texas sometimes, but then they're dual. They're, they actually go back to Mexico a lot too. So, but they they have citizenship in both countries. But they go back. They fly back to Mexico, I guess. And they That's fly some back. lucky shit right there. Yeah. I, don't even, I don't even know how to get to Mexico. People are like, uh, you don't need a fucking passport. And I'm like, I think I might now. Yeah, I'd be worried about getting back, back in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, especially because I look like I'd be. Long yeah, there. they'd be like, no, get the fuck back there. You're like, no, I'm an American. <laughs> You don't look I don't even speak Spanish. Like me, I could probably like walk across the fucking Rio Grande with like a fucking TV and they'd be like, What are you doing? <laughs> I'm uh, going back to Boston. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, you just go ahead. You look like a fucking <laughs> Damn, all right. right. I'm looking at some uh, climax you got there. I'm full on pasty. They'd be like, Yeah, you're 
I'd fucking die out there, man. I'd turn red. I've been in, in Florida. I just start burning and shit like that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> man. So, well, fuck, man. AJ, man, I'll let you go, bro. I'm gonna get the fuck yeah, out of here I'll with let that. You go too, man. What's up Don't with your girl? What's your What's your girl's name? Elisa. Elisa. What? Elisa. Elisa. Damn. What's up? Yeah. You are lucky. She's looking like she's having a fun time tonight. Oh yeah. We just came back from the store, so she's eating her snacks, and she's loving it. God damn, man. Everybody has a beautiful girlfriend in this community. It's almost unbelievable. I mean, shit, man. When you're ugly, you got to fucking pull a beauty. Hell yeah, man. Well, you guys have a good night. I hope you bang. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you better. You better do it all night long, baby. No, I love you. Bye. All right, love good you. to see you, man. Careful. Good to see you. Right. Good shit. Show her the dick. Oh, man. Man, she looked like fucking so adorable in the background, man. She looked like a fun time, dude. That looks like it's a fun time, man. Very nice guy in AJ Moore. Very nice girlfriend. Time to marry that. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. The bubbly. That's it. Some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's I vape. If I die. Then just forget about me. Blame it on the rain. <laughs> All right, Barracuda, I'll remember that, man. We'll just fucking bury you away, man, in the Area 51 raid, man. Um, we don't know what's going to happen yet. We're still monitoring the situation. So many people there. It's so loud at the Area 51 raid right now because of the generators. There are so many generators going off. It's unbelievable. That's the thing that I'm noticing the most. That Barracuda, thanks for the three dollars. Appreciate that. And the backyard man, thanks for subbing to the channel. The backyard man. What the fuck happens on that channel? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. The backyard man. Nightcore are a cane. Thanks for subbing to the channel. How you doing? Welcome to Corrupted Nation. We'll be live tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at eleven PM Eastern Time. U.S. will be live right here with Monetize This. Episode 230 or 200 and something. I don't know what episode we're on of that. Uh, Khalil Omar. Um, Deod, I might have fucked up your name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Omar, if I fucked up your name, but thank you for subbing. Cheers. Alpha Creator Gaming YT. Thank you for subbing to the channel. Good to hear from you. Lots of subs. Tonight, as we talk about this Area 51 raid that's going on, plus the new Apple iPhone. Nobody really gave a shit about that tonight. And Justin Trudeau did brownface for all the people that just got here. Justin Trudeau doing the old brownface, having to apologize for brownface. He did, although this looks more like blackface to me. He doesn't really look like he's Arabic. He looks like he's, he looks like he painted himself black. Not Arabic. Like a moron. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, man. He's supposed to be the skin tone of the two guys he's standing with. And he completely botched it. He really botched it. That's the biggest... That's what he should be apologizing for, is how he fucking painted himself the wrong color. Who gives a shit if you fucking colored yourself fucking trying to dress up at a party? Who cares? But paint yourself the right color, at least. The wrong goddamn color, Trudeau, you idiot. Canadian Prime Minister. He's doing it wrong. Aaron Fleischner, thanks for subbing to the channel, Aaron. What's up? <laughs> I believe we did hit 11,000 subs. Yes, thank you very much. Super Chat Party. There's a big update for the new iPhone. Enjoy the money. Spilt Sky 007, thank you for the dollar ninety nine. Thank you for the super chat party. Appreciate that, man. I will I will enjoy the money. I will I don't know what I'll do with that dollar ninety nine, but I definitely appreciate you keeping my channel uh, on the air, man. I appreciate all the donations tonight on episode uh sixty five of Throw Thursday Night Throwdown, and it's very much appreciated, man. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be uh, doing this still. So. Thank you for that. All these years of support. And you can follow me on Twitter at CorruptedPod on Twitter. For the people that don't know the uh, Twitter handle, make sure you tweet me at CorruptedPod. Email Show at yahoo.com. And, of course, 
Become a patron, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. And there's the phone number at the top and the Twitter handle. Um, Chuichi 2004 thank you for subbing to the channel. What's going on? And I do want to play it. I am going to quickly um, run to the the pee-pee hole. And while I do that, you can... Uh, <laughs> You can enjoy me uh, telling Tommy that my dog is dead. Pour me a beer. You've got a Charlie plays guitar. Thanks for subbing to the channel, man. Uh, here's me telling Tommy that my dog is dead. While we, uh, while he pissed my pants. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, how, you, how you been, man? You've got a new I've been doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> I just um, Luis Camo, thanks for stopping. I mean, I've been all right, man. I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, what was going on here. <laughs> what what's going on? You've got a new subscriber. Potato chips. With um, you know, everything going on with my uh, you know, with my uh, with my with my dog. What's wrong with your dog, man? Sun Yi Hang. You had a surgery on and everything. What's Thanks wrong for subbing. Dog? Oh, it was just... You know, it didn't work. It wasn't... It wasn't working out this well. This is horrible. Know, just, Pour me a beer. You I've been drinking, but... You know, she... She passed away in my arms. You know? I'm so sorry, man. I've lost pets, my, pets myself, dude. It's It's really hard to lose a pet. Uh, you know, I have a strong connection between the animal, animal and man's best friend. You know, and it's hard to hard to you know lose uh, a pet. Yeah, man, I just um, I'm just really been sitting here. You know, I just figured, no, you 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 pick up of all people. You know, I appreciate that, Dan. You reaching out to me like this, like you know, it's. You know, it's it's a hard thing to lose a pet, and you know, you know that she's, you know, she's not suffering anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I, 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 you're right though. No, you're right though. <clears throat> At least you gave her a good life. You gave her everything that you gave her. They gave her that. You know the <laughs> finest things you know that you can give her and the finest things. you know she's just in a better place now you know oh. Oh. I, I, want, I want to revive the I want I want to revive her dude like I want to revive her well it's kind of impossible Dan you know, once uh, once you know <laughs> Once we're gone from this earth, we're gone, you know, like, it's kind of hard to do stuff like that, you know? Well, I don't even care that, like, she's right here, you know, in my arms, like, you know, and it's like, I don't, I don't know, what do you do, bury it? Like, I don't, hold on a minute, I don't even, I, I'm gonna revive her. <laughs> Best of the dude, Dan, is probably oh. barrier, like, that's... <laughs> Wake. I don't even know what to say. To this. Wake, <laughs> up. Wake, up. Wake up! Wake <laughs> up! Oh my god! Wake up! Wake up! Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. I hit her like seven times. Wake up! <laughs> Oh, wake up! Best thing to do is just calm down, Dan, and just get yourself together. You know, like you know. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> just you know, breathe in and breathe out, man. You know, just like that's the best thing to do. Is just.
to stay positive and just <laughs> breathe in and find a blanket for her and just, you know, bury her, you know? Oh, 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 oh Debbie's pussy! Are you fucking trolling me right now, Joe? Dan? <laughs> oh, Tommy, my dog's pussy looks like Debbie's pussy. Oh my You're god. You're fucking trolling me right now, dude. Fuck you. Debbie's pussy. Oh my Debbie's god. Debbie's ugly yes. pussy. This is messed up. Say it, it will bring my dog back to life. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. Pour me a beer. Debbie's pussy. Oh my god, dude. That Fucking was so. Asshole. That what? was fucked up. <laughs> That was fucked up. I mean, when you think about it, it really was uh, It really was messed up what we did to Tommy. What we've done to Tommy is messed up. Drift, thanks for subbing to the channel. Thanks to everybody else who's been subbing to the channel. We also had Big Ben Roethlisberger call the show the other day. Big Ben Roethlisberger was injured. We're going to go back to the raid in a minute. I'm hearing that we're going to get... There's a couple new camera shots of the raid, apparently. So, um, that... I'm going to get this new sh this new shot of the raid. And as soon as we get the new shot of the raid, I'm going to put it up cuz it's it's got to be good. I would assume. Pour me a beer. You've got a new So hopefully we get this uh, new shot of the raid. Um but while we wait for that to come and for me to uh pee my pants as I've been doing, um I do have to tell you guys that this this Ben Roethlisberger is um He's uh, You've got a new subscriber. he's adamant, man. I mean, this guy, you know, has been accused of some crazy things. But uh, J Jim gameplay, thank you, Jim, appreciate that. But I mean, how crazy is it that we would actually get Ben Roethlisberger on the phone? I mean, of all the places he could call, you know what I mean? Joseph Joster, thanks for subbing to the channel. What's going on, man? We're having a subscription party right now. Huge subscription party going on right now. But of all the places that Ben could call, you know, for Ben to call my my show here on Corrupted Nation, the Joe Cronin show here on Corrupted Nation, I mean, it blows my mind that Ben would uh, take the time out to reach out to us. So um, here it is, man. This is gonna this is gonna go down in. I mean, we're lucky. Who the hell else gets a call like this? So um, you know, here you go. Pretty uh. Pretty epic stuff. And I'm very happy about it. Stupid. Yeah, that Ben Roethlisberger, that was one of your fans. See? Yeah. Your only fan of yeah. fucking Reet. I bet Dilk would be the first one shot. <laughs> Broken Lion. Uh, Dilk would be the first person shot. Uh, Broken Lion, you might be right. Uh, Broken Lion, thank you for the donation, man. What's up, Broken? What's up, Lion? Roar! Delta Raptor 76. What up, Delta? Thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. What's up? Uh, absolutely, man. Let's hear from Ben. Dude, I'm going to fucking rape you, man. Say Tom Brady's my daddy. <laughs> no. Just say, just admit no. the Patriots are better. <laughs> Come on. Dude, if this guy opens his mouth on the phone again, Joe, I'm going to rape him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's getting that really... He's, I can tell Ben Ben is always just looking for someone to rape. It's like, it's a weird thing. That's what I'm starting to Joe. think. You're starting to I'm rehab. starting to breathe heavy, man. Yeah, already? If life hands you lemons, rape the lemon, right? Is that your saying? Yeah. You know what, man? Fuck this. <laughs> I heard, Ben, Ben, I heard this was true. I heard... Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, go. Go. Yeah. Tell me not to do it, Joe. Tell me not to do it. Don't do it. Is your son already back from school already? Yeah, that's gross. Let's get some alien cheeks. Yeah, baby. Let's get those alien cheeks popping. Get those alien cheeks popping in the chat right now, everybody. Seriously, everybody right now. Get those alien cheeks in the chat going for this Area 51 raid. We need to get this ready to go. I don't know any more. Thank you for the donation of $1.99. I don't know anymore. Thank you very much. Fucking yes! Sorry. But back to Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know anymore. Thank you.
super chat party. Hey. <laughs> Oh my God, Ben oh. Roethlisberger's kid! This is horrible. You know, I heard that I heard you were going to move into your dream home, but then you decided not to because you found out the neighbors had bars on their windows. My dream home was Disney World. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because of all the little yeah. kids. Sander, thank you. Hey, hey uh, you want to know why Andrew Luck had to retire? Why is that? Fucking raped him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Colonizer. Oh my god. You are fucked up, Ben. Like, this is really fucked up, dude. Like, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> hey, what would you do if you came across a boy scout? What would you do if you came across a boy scout who had, who was injured? He had just fallen over, broken his leg, and you were the only one that could help him. What would you do to help him? Rape him. <laughs> <laughs> no words. We'll leave your mouth. Oh my God! I had a feeling that's what you're gonna say, though. I really did. This is horrible. Jeffy. This is really despicable. You sound, like, you sound like the modern version of Genghis Khan. I don't like true. it. You like that? Yeah. Hey, no, you ever, Ben Khan. You ever put Heinz ketchup on a little boy and feel like you won the Super Bowl? Super hey, Jack. man, I don't Super do Jack. Stuff kids. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Um, Abner Gonzalez. Thank you, Abner Gonzalez, for the donation, Abner. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciated. KLS stick, thanks for seven. All right, only fuck women. Oh, okay, all right. Only women. Now it's only women? Well, chicks with dicks. We got to be specific, right? Well, that and fucking Brady. Well, oh, you bang Brady? Here, you've got a new subscriber. No, I don't bang him. I, I rape him. <laughs> where, would you, where would your desired location be to rape Tom Brady? Gas station bathroom, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but then you have to go get the key and everything, and, like, maybe he's duct tape. Party. Hey, boys, who wants to meet me at Giant Black Allen? Uh, there we go, baby. Uh, I don't know anymore. Donating again, three ninety nine. Giant Black a Allen? I don't know. Anybody want to meet him there? I, I, don't, I don't know if I'd recommend meeting him there, but, you know, maybe you'd want to. You know, I guess maybe you'd want to. Let's check in with the boys and see what they're doing. Guys, what's up? Oh, yeah, they're still working on the car. Let's see what's up. And hopefully we keep it going. Oh, turn off. Turn off. Oh, shit. Yeah, turn off. <laughs> Leaving the car on now. I don't know anymore. Thank you for the donation. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. We're yeah, having yeah. a party. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Billy. Billy, he's not Are you guys still drinking? He's not gonna get here till later. Live from while. Area 51. This is incredible. Probably do the thing you were doing before. That was better. Totally fascinating. From Area yeah, 51, Daniel you can hear the generators going. Like Daniel's a genius. A lot of that noise. It's not really wind. It's actually the generators that are powering the lights. What am I supposed to do? That are that are going. You you, that are so you loud. You Carlos, you thank you for subbing to the channel, doing. man. You got it. What's up, Carlos? All right. You want to go interview some people? I was, I was, I was really. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Are you not charging your phone? Folks, you have it, you idiot. Sorry. <laughs> well, let me, let me, let me explain. I did, I did do a bit of an epic freakout because uh, I'm a bit. I don't, I don't exactly want people. Um, I, 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 I care for my dad. I care for my family. I don't really want people. Abner uh, Gonzalez, thank you. them. So, uh, then don't say that you care for them. What? Then don't say that you care for them. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, you know, even even hackers have uh, have hearts. I don't know what this guy's talking about, dude. But I, I think he's already sucked in aliens' privates, like at this point. And I don't know what just happened. We froze up. What happened to the stream there? Uh oh, they got him. The government got him. The government got him. 
The government got him, everybody. Paytonic Rene, thank you for subbing to the channel. Paytonic, what's up? Uh oh, somebody got him. Somebody got to them. Or something's going on. Maybe they're actually setting up their. Uh, I think they're transitioning from phone to desktop, I think is what's going on. Cal P is healthy. Thanks for subbing to the channel. I can't endorse that. I don't think it is. Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. It's possible it is, but uh I'm not really sure. Uh Braden Lovely. Thank you for subbing to the channel. What up, man? Good to hear from you. Super chat. This is very crazy. Party. What up, Creamy? Big Daddy. Uh, Creamy's, hey Creamy Senpai, thank you for the super chat. So, Big Daddy. Uh, relax with some memes. What up, Creamy? Dude, it turns out that, like, the guy who's streaming those guys from Area 51, their stream is like a fucking Twitch stream, and this dude was just streaming their shit, like, pretending it's his. Wow, he's, like, in a fucking house and shit. He's... He's getting like full on exposed right now. Oh my God. That's crazy. Wow. That's so crazy. This dude's like, this dude was just streaming their content the whole time. Look at him. This is the guy, Th those guys that were streaming there. That's not them. That's this guy. He was streaming their video. Wow. That dude, like, and it's like, it's like man behind the curtain. People are wicked pissed on the fucking in the comments on his thing. They're like, fake, what a bunch of fake, what an asshole. Oh, dude, people are pissed right now. Wow. Wow, people are pissed at this guy. That's crazy. Wow, people were... Wow, that's crazy, dude. Wow, this dude was getting crazy donations and shit, too. He was getting, like, $50, like, hundreds of dollars. This guy was making a ton of money in donations, and everybody was really liking the guys that were at Area 51. And now the people in the chat are, like, pissed off. This guy's, like, pretending like he knows the people at Area 51, but he, but I don't think he does know them. He's like, oh, they'll, they'll be back in a minute, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And, like, people in the chat are, like, bullshit right now. They're freaking out that this guy just took someone's stream and was, like, pretending it was him. Wow, dude, his chat's losing their mind right now. They're like, bullshit, this is fake. Oh, you piece of shit. Like, they're fucking losing it, dude. And he was just streaming off of Twitch. He was taking a Twitch stream and putting it on his YouTube channel, pretending it, seemingly, like, it was pretending it was them. But now he's putting them back up again, and he's like, oh, we're going back to the stream and everything. Oh, my God, dude. Wow, people are so mad. And, oh, my God, people are fucking pissed. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Wow. That's nuts, man. I mean, I was playing those guys' video, too, but I wasn't pretending like they were, they were like, my channel. Wow. I don't know anymore. Thanks, man. You don't have to give more money anymore. That's okay, dude. I, I appreciate what you gave. Wow. He does know them, Dakota says. Okay, maybe they do know him. Okay, well, even if he does know them, people are pissed. <laughs> like, either way, the chat's angry at him. Wow. People are so mad in his chat. Like, whether or not, whether they know each other or not, like, maybe they plan this. But, wow, they're, that guy is getting heat. Like, they're, people are, he had 12,000 people watching. Now he's got 8,000 people watching. And before they left, people were just fuck you like oh fuck like they were wow that was crazy dude the dislikes they they had 100 dislikes before see look he's 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 streaming a twitch chat look he was oh my god dude he's just streaming a twitch he's like and he's pretending like he's friends with them or he is friends with them maybe someone said he is friends with them so maybe they're not lying they may not be lying but people are mad they're taking it that way though even if they're not lying they are the people in the chat are taking it as a lie. Attention, everyone in the chat. The stream is real, but since they are in the middle of nowhere, they're experiencing Super problems. Chat. Yeah, but Party. but now people don't believe that. Wow. Oh my God, dude! People are so mad. 
in that chat. Bry Guy, what up, Bry Guy? Thank you so much for the donation, Bry Guy. Wow. That is crazy. We got we to gotta figure that out. But apparently they know him, people are saying. Um, Cody Johnson, I found a guy who was talking to him on Skype. What happened? Okay, so yeah, I mean, the bottom line is this guy was streaming. These two guys were streaming from their phone for like a while tonight from Area 51. So we were paying attention to the stream. Every once in a while, I'd bring up their stream, see what they were doing, and talk about them. Um, and what happened was their stream just froze all of a sudden. And then this completely random guy sitting in a studio like me Super chat. showed up. Super chat. Tommy's rear end is so big face savoring food. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's rear end is huge. Yes, that's true. That is true. Um, And what happened is the guy is like panicking and all of a sudden Twitch came up on the stream. And he was copying the Twitch video onto his YouTube channel. Wow. Monica. Ugh. Can I send you videos from the local news here about the raid? Because they are interesting. No idea what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Monica, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monica, thank you for the four ninety nine, Monica. Yeah. Guys, we're back we're back on, baby. Let's find out if this is real or not. Monica, send me a you can call up Monica if you want to call too, Monica. Feel free to call in, Monica. Monica would be cool if you called in. Super chat. Super chat. Your parents will die of shame. Dude, we're gonna be a Twitch cringe cop. We're gonna be a Twitch cringe cop. <laughs> See, they're talking about Twitch. Um Justin Ludwig. What up, Justin? Um, well, my dad died when I was eight years old, so he's already dead. He's already died of shame a long time ago. He was like, I see where my son is going. Fuck this. I'm out. My mother, I mean, she definitely will have shame as well. I, I definitely agree. To be fair, I don't know if these are accomplishments that you want to have, but I think I'm... We just... We got around 10,000 subs in a day. We... We went off. Um, we're possibly going to be in Twitch cringe comp. I mean, we don't know. We might get to be in Twitch. These guys are such marks for themselves, dude. They're like, we might be on Twitch Super cringe comp. And like, what? Ugh. How, these people are, these guys are lame, dude. Uh, Kaylee Gamer. What up, Kaylee Gamer? Thank you for the super chat. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylee. I don't usually go this late on, on Throwdown, so um, it's been very interesting watching these guys, but it's like, what a weird thing, dude. Imagine, dude, they just get fucking raided and sniped. Like, they get raided. The raid gets raided. Can you imagine that? The raid getting raided? That could definitely happen. Jesus, Tiki of Doom. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> That's so mean, dude. That's so messed up. But yet, I really can't be the one to speak, you know? You are fucked. What was that, Tommy? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tommy. Um, well, you know, I, I have no idea what's going to happen with that. We're going to find out. Super chat party. Got more money, brothers. I don't know any more. Thank you again, man. Another super chat dropping in. I need more beers is what I need. I need to go get more beers. Uh, 314 is on the phone. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, man. Like I'm waiting for this raid to just go off, you know? Fucking same. We have been watching your uh, we've been watching your stream now for like the last hour. And we are we are here with you, man, from St. Louis. Hell yeah, baby. I'm ready. The capital murder state. Hell yeah. Exactly. The murder capital. Exactly. We 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 put Ferguson on the map, baby. <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah, it's it's less exciting up here. I mean, all we had in Boston was the straight pride thing and that was about it. We haven't had anything crazy yet. Well, no, no, nah, nah, you you got to you got to come down here, man. I mean, shit, everyone's watching the watching the raid, but uh this is where the real action's at, man. We we speak burp all day. Hell yeah, baby. I'm ready to go, dude. I'm ready to see those those alien axe ass cheeks. I think we're gonna find out something amazing. I think we're gonna find out that aliens have three different privates. 
Oh, most likely, most likely. And I, I, honestly, dude, I believe that they like they te- like they use telepathy to have orgasms, and I'm most, pr- most definitely. And m- mouth I, mouth love still happens. I I honestly believe that uh, you know these Naruto runners are going to get in there and. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna find all that documentation to get Hillary finally arrested. <laughs> well, dude, I don't think you need any documentation to really get her arrested. At this point, I'm pretty sure she could just be arrested right now. But you know, that's another story for another day, I guess. Uh, but thank you for the call, man. I'm gonna move on. More phone calls. People calling in, wondering what's going on with this Area 51 raid. Nine two zeros on the phone. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, so what do you think so far? How many people do you think are going to show up to this raid? I'm going to say it's not, you know, I'm going to say about a, I almost don't want to say, I'm going to say a thousand. I'll say a thousand people show up. Maybe it does. Right now it doesn't look good. There's like got to be only about, I would say what I'm looking, I don't really know where they are and where the sections of people are. But right now at these different sections, it looks like there's about 200 people there, but that's just what I've seen. I mean, there could be people all over the place getting ready to come in. So I don't know if it'd be a thousand, ten thousand, or a hundred fifty. You know, I don't know. I just can't wait to watch it live. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I'm waiting, man. This is gonna be nuts. It's gonna be there's gonna be so many streams going on. There's gonna be news coverage. Um, you know, I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I may not go to bed. I don't even know, man, because it's too exciting. I mean, what if we see an alien? What if somebody gets killed? You know, what if uh like half of my high school is missing because we all want to watch this live. <laughs> yeah, people aren't going to go to school on Friday. Like so many kids are going to stay up all night just watching this. I mean, dude, I would have done the same thing. I mean, I'm 35 now, but like when I, you know, when I was younger and stuff like this happened, I can remember just watching the, just listening to the radio all night and watching TV. And listening to the radio sounds archaic, but if you think about this, when when breaking news happened at like 2 a.m. right. So if it's like two a.m. Right. two a.m. in the morning, a lot of the TV stations wouldn't be covering it. They would like you know they wait till the next day or whatever. So right. what would happen is the only people that would be telling you information of what the hell is going on would be the radio. So it right. was it, you know it it would be weird because it'd be like nineteen ninety seven and you'd be like what am I I'm listening to the radio like my parents or something. What the hell is this? But you would. You'd, you'd be like, I'm, li- I'm going to turn the radio on to find out what's going on. So it's crazy. But now with the internet, I mean, we had the internet then, and you could see news on the internet then. But you know what I mean? With YouTube and with just streaming apps and everything else, I mean, Basically, now- YouTube and every Twitch and everything else is our radio this year. Yeah. And pl- well, plus like Yahoo News and just any other news site, even though the news is all a bunch of scumbags. But you know what I mean, news feeds and Twitter, it's like we can, all these different places we can get updates no matter what. But, you know, back in, I feel like in 97 when shit went down like crazy or weird at night, there was no hype because, you know, everybody was sleeping and then the TV wouldn't cover shit and the internet was, I mean, not not like this. So, yeah, there's so much hype behind this that, dude, people are not going to go to school tomorrow. Kids are going to stay up all night. <laughs> Because I can remember staying up all night, like I said, with my headphones on, listening to the radio, like, holy shit, what the hell is going to happen next? So this is like that, except we're going to get live streams. You know, we're going to get so many people with their phones streaming from the event that it's going to make it that much more exciting. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> and I hope a lot of people, oh. uh, ha- I hope there's a big orgy or people, I don't, I don't know, it's like, I kind of want to see people get just scared shitless. I don't want to see anybody killed or anything like that, but I mean, it'd be funny if they get scared shitless. You know, like maybe they kill one guy, like one guy's head blows up from a microwave oven or a laser. Damn. You know? <laughs> yeah, just one guy. <laughs> and then everybody else. I know is they're like, going to get all tough and everything as soon as they get up there and somebody's going to pull out like some wacky gun and they're going to turn around and leave. I yeah. know that right away. Yeah, they're going to be done really quick. By the way, are you in Canada? Um, No, I'm in Wisconsin. Okay, all right. The cheese state. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get a lot. Yeah, baby. Green Bay Packers. They beat my Patriots in 1996 in the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, man, thanks for the call, dude, and uh, appreciate it. Good stuff. Thanks. Good call. Man, good to hear from you, man. Good to hear from you guys. I'm have, I've had a lot of fun tonight. I really have. It's been a weird show. 
none none of my co-hosts were here tonight for Throwdown, and we didn't really throw down per, per se, but we had some fun talking about Area Fifty One and whatever else we've been talking about. Party. Here we go. We're still gonna raid that shit. We're still gonna raid that shit. Kaylee Gamer, Kaylee, thank you so much for the ninety nine cents. Get that dollar, man. Appreciate that. I need another beer. I've been waiting 20, da 20 days for this damn raid. The chat is hilarious. It's fucking awesome. I know, man. I've been waiting for this, too. I was thinking we'd cover this more tomorrow and monetize this, but I didn't think about how it would uh, roll into a throwdown tonight, to be honest. 704, hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, I got a couple of questions. All right, here we go. All right, so what time is this thing officially going down? 6 a.m. I've been told 6 a.m., which is 3 a.m. there, but 6 a.m. So Eastern time, so. Yeah. And then is there, like, a main stream to look out for, or are you just a bunch of them? I'm just, I've seen a whole bunch of different ones, but I'm being told that there's going to be some coverage by the news, but that's going to be on Twitter. Like, you know, it's like CNN's Twitter and all that type of shit. They're going to be there. Um, I'm being told though a lot of mainstream media isn't covering it much because like the government and shit, you know, they're like trying to encourage people not to talk about it, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like everyone's just going to get mowed down to be honest. Oh yeah, dude. Anything. If they get anywhere near anything, I mean, the type of technology that the gov that the they they just blow people up with shit. Like there there was no way any <laughs> anyone is getting anywhere near anything out there. Maybe if it was like a actually mass amount of people, like a hundred k plus, I feel like they'd be able to do something, but. I don't know. Yeah, you'd have to have a full commitment, like, and like everybody would have to be, people would have to be armed, all kinds of stuff. But we've talked about this before. Like, I've talked about this with uh, my buddy Dave Rose, and it's like the technology, like, it would just won't happen. Like, they would, they would microwave oven people's heads. Like, they have the type of technology that they just point it at the crowd, point it at the people, and people's heads blow up. I mean, that's it. I mean, that's that's technology we have, you know, like shit like we're like sonic fucking things. Remember the guys in Cuba, the politicians in Cuba from America, um, th they all came down with like sickness and brain problems and they like died and shit. That was all from that type of technology. And that was that was like archaic type of stuff that they were using. Man, I don't know. This is pretty hype, though. Like, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Yeah, dude, I am too. In a way, like, I can't wait to see what the hell happens. Like, I, I hope it's a party that like nobody wants to leave. You know, everybody just goes down there and parties their ass off, and nobody wants to leave, and it just like nobody leaves. Like, weeks of this goes on. It'll be a fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They'll be like, we're having, we're ha we're down here at Area 51. We're having trouble right now. The people are officials saying we're having trouble with the amount of fecal matter from all of the people here and the porter potties are running out and they're overfilling and you can smell human shit for miles uh, down the street and down the highways and people are starting to call it fecal matter way. Um, it's certainly disgusting. Unknown caller, please call back. I'll put you on. Anybody wants to be on, I will put you on. Thank you so much. And that caller was great. Thank you to that caller. Much appreciated. My name is Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation. We do this every Thursday night. Every Thursday night, Thursday night, Throwdown is live. Plus, Friday night, we're live with Monetize This tomorrow night. So, back-to-back -back night streaming here on this channel, as always. Plus, news and comedy throughout the week, as always. Unknown caller, feel free to call. We'll put you on. You guys can hit me up on Twitter, at CorruptedPod. That's Corrupted, P-O-D, on Twitter. And it'll be a lot of fun watching people piss and shit down at the... Uh, Area 51 raid. It's 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 seems like it's been a great time. Uh, 405. Uh, Jonathan Hendry, thanks for uh, the subscription, Jonathan. What's up? 405, you live. What's up, 405? Hey, this is Kari from Oklahoma. How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Got a new subscriber. Doing good. So, um, we got to raid Colorado. Yeah, because that's where the real shit is, you know? Yeah, we got to organize. That has to be the next raid organization. They'll never see it coming. 
Yeah, they won't, dude. They won't see. Well, you know, they might not. They won't see it coming if we find out where the spots are. Like the, I'm telling you, man, the cuts in the mountains, the the cuts they've made and the incisions they've made in some of the mountains in Colorado, it's it's unbelievable what they've done. And then they dig down. You can find contractors who admit to some of this work that they've done in Colorado. So that's where the shit is. And those tunnels run for miles. They run all the way from California to the East Coast. They go in there. And what about that uh, that new supposed White House in Arkansas that they've been building? I would probably finish with it by now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised about that either. That's true. Because, yeah, those are where all the water lines are. If the poles flip, for whatever reason, they're expecting a pole shift. Or there's potentially a Planet X that comes around and, you know, flips the poles and there's a big flood. You know, these are the areas where they're building things and that's where the the flood map is. And separate scientists and Navy and Army people have all given these projected flood maps and that's where these these things are being built. It's kind of crazy, man. Like, it's, it's something is up. Whether you believe it or it sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it's... Not that crazy to me that the poles are going to shift or there's something on an elliptical orbit out there that's coming around every 5,000, 6,000, 3,000 years and, you know, kind of rocking the rocking our planet. It would make sense why we have floods every thousands of years and why all the biblical documents all say something or other like that. You know, it's because something's up. 702 is on the phone. Hello. It's Monica. Monica! Man, hey, are, are, you, are you guys going to the party or what? No, I don't feel like dying tonight. <laughs> but you could just <laughs> you could just watch them, you know, from afar and just watch their little camp. It's like a big camp out. It's a big it's a big camping trip. Yeah. Yeah, from all the footage I've seen, there's just a lot of people in like RVs and tents. I sent you a bunch of uh, on Twitter I DM'd you a bunch of like local news videos from out there. There's a, um, there's like a concert going on out there. It's called, you know, like Woodstock It's called alien stock. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Are you, I don't know what's going on. I saw one guy and I don't know what this means. I don't even know why the guy was doing this, but there was one guy with an RV and he was driving down with an RV and on, on top of the RV was a crucifix and he had an alien crucified. And I'm like, that's really yeah. not a, like that's not going to welcome the aliens. I feel like a crucified alien. That's a. I mean, talk about in trying to intimidate. That's all I can think of. <laughs> like, what the fuck? A crucified <laughs> alien. Look at these clips you sent me. What the hell? I saw this guy. Yeah, I don't. Oh my know. god, this guy was on the stream that I just saw. This guy that they interviewed, this dude with the hat who looks like very fresh faced, young. He looks um. They oh my god! I just saw him on this guy's stream. He looks like a bitch. He does look like a bit. Look at these chicks though. Look at these girls. He does. These girls are hot though. <laughs> the alien girls with like the wrestling gear. Mhm. Mm okay, wait a minute. Well, the girl on the left is. I don't know. What are they doing? They're like alien racing. Man, in... that's from what from what I've seen. That's that's the way you're supposed to run into the raid because that's how you dodge the bullets. What I've been sent so fuck? many memes. I'm like, it's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? These people, man, I, I think Independence Day did have it right. Remember when like they found out about aliens and everybody was just like, Hey, welcome to aliens. Ah. It's like people, are people <laughs> really do that? And the answer now is yes. Independence Day had it right. Let me see. Uh, what the fuck? All right. We're going to show some of these videos. Let me pull these videos. This is insane. <laughs> What in the hell? This is crazy. Let me continue the subscriptions while I... Pour me a beer. You've got a We're having a successful beer. night in subscriptions, I will say that. It's a it's big a, night. It's a party. I mean, like, I got to get out of here soon, but this is... I can't leave. This is too tempting. It's too crazy. <laughs> right. Let's check this guy out right here. People are gonna People are going to remember this stream forever. I remember I found you because of that. Remember that Area 51 thing? Yeah, I was jerking off and I found your stream. That's really what it's going to be. There was so many dead bodies. It was hot. <laughs> there was so many dead bodies. <laughs> not not again. 
Oh, no, that was <laughs> fucked up. That was fucked up. Water, a lot of water, and uh, now hopefully I capture the aliens. Oh my water. God! I didn't even catch it. And uh, now hopefully I capture the aliens. Serious No, that poor bastard. Kylie uh, Kinsler, thanks for subbing to the channel. What's up? All right, here's the alien chicks. I like them. Fuck yeah. Did you come up with this yourself? No. Okay, it's Japanese. an actual thing? Yeah, it was uh, developed a by a You've got a the Japanese. All right, let's go. Oh, this poor guy. He's like really serious about it. Joe TV <laughs> one two three. thanks for subbing. You know what I mean? Like he's really innocent. Like he really means this. Like he's really like excited and shit. You know? He's been, he's been waiting for this moment his whole life. Oh, God. What's that to waste time? <laughs> uh, Star Stable Alex. Whoa. He's got all kinds of feedback. Why the fuck is that happening? You hear that feedback? No, I don't hear anything. Wow, I heard crazy feedback. Like it was weird. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna send Alex Jones down there. The they're gonna well they don't understand this is all manipulation by the media. Something's happening right now, Jordan. Anthony, thank you very much. What, what they're going to do is they're going to move. Th this is when they move documents. They move money. They start to move things. And they distract everybody with something like this. Oh, we're going to raid early in 51. We're raiding. We're raiding early in 51. Meanwhile, we're being raped somehow over here. And they're moving money from bank to bank. And nobody understands. Nobody knows what the left hand is doing to the right hand. And they don't know what the fuck is happening in this country. Seriously, I'm not joking. Sorry. Uh, Flat 400, thank you for... Uh, Subscribing, Flat 400. I appreciate that. Back to the alien girl. You've got a new subscriber. Mobile Xbox gods. Thank you for subbing. Where's the... um? Fuck, I lost it. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this poor guy really really is into this and shit, you know? Bent over. <laughs> Countdown. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, when you, imagine if you just... Tripped right there and face planted into that car. Look <laughs> like right there, he just trips and then falls into that car. Like, oh. Wesley, what do you think of this? This is different. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a lo so that's the local news guy who's like, what the fuck? Yeah. This world is just jacked up. Brap life. What up, brap life? Brap. Look at all the there's the porta potties. There there's the porta potties I told you guys about. I told you there's gonna be human fecal matter everywhere. Those are porta potties, oh, folks. Yeah, there's lines. There's lines of porta potties. <laughs> oh my god! I told you these people are gonna refuse to leave. <laughs> Death the kid. Thank you, Death the kid. I am telling you, you're going to see news reports where they're like, uh, we're down here at the ra right now at Area 51 at the raid where uh, nobody's leaving yet. And, uh, you know, it's beginning to smell like human fecal matter. Coyotes have come out to eat the porta potty. Like, it's going to be a fucking insane. Th that's going to happen. Like, people are not going to leave. And there's just going to be, like, porta potties everywhere and shit and piss. And, oh, man, how many? I mean, I'm going to estimate three rapes while they're there. At least three rapes will happen. So that's a that's a scary thing. But yeah, um, I mean, I would guess that's about it. Anything else going down over there, Monica? Is there like uh, people making money because of this? or? Oh, yeah. So there's like a big music festival um, on the strip. You know, hopefully no one gets shot. But um, there's <laughs> like a time. big life. Is, it's called it's called like the Life is Beautiful Festival. And so a lot of people are saying it's a front for people that are actually coming to the Area 51 raid instead of like, Oh, I'm I'm taking this day off. I'm going to the Life is Beautiful Festival. Actually, going to the raid. Yeah, because like, they don't want to conspiracy that I've heard. <laughs> they don't want to admit that they're going to a fucking conspiracy, <laughs> fucking Area 51 raid. Yeah. yeah, seems like a lot of young people though. Seems like a lot of like you know twenties, you know eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty two. There's a um, because where the uh, Area 51 is there's a place called Rachel, Nevada, which is like right outside right. Um, Area 51. And like they like it's very alien themed. Like they have like a little motel called the Alien. And so like <laughs> that's having like a huge thing out there. 
And like there's and like you said, there are food trucks out there. Like there's shit tons of food trucks. Right. And there's a concert going on and like people are selling merch more than usual. So that's great. People are making a lot of money out there. Well, at least people are making money, man. I'm glad people are making money out there. And I'd love to stay here and make some more money and subs and have a fun time, but I do have to I have to call it, man. I gotta get out of here. But Monica, thank you for mm-hmm. calling and um I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I, I hope uh, hope tomorrow night I'll monetize this. It will go smooth, and I won't be completely retarded with numbers. Make it, make it for points in the bank. We need points in the bank, and we need we need negative points in the bank. Oh, okay, we need both. All right, so yeah, we'll do we will do points in the bank tomorrow night. Drew is the champion. Oh no, wait a minute. Who's the champion? No, okay, okay, Fabe's okay, the, the champion. Oh my yeah. God! I forgot. That's right. Connor's the champion. I gotta go see him tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go see him because I think I'm gonna get the belt and I'm gonna end up bringing it to him. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring the champion his belt tomorrow night. All right. And then you, and then you pin him, and then you're the champion. <laughs> yeah, and then I punch him in the balls and take the title again. <laughs> it's a great idea. Hell yeah! All right, Fantastic. tomorrow, tomorrow night, 11 p.m. <laughs> okay. Right here, everybody. 11 p.m. Right here. Monetize this tomorrow night. All right, see you, Monica. Monica, Bye. baby. Thank you, Monica. I love you, Monica. Armando Arizola. Armando, thank you for subbing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys, everybody who donated to my stupid show tonight. I really appreciate everybody who dropped a couple bucks for me tonight. That was nutty. We had a good time on Throwdown. This was a very different episode of Thursday Night Throwdown than I've ever had before. It was very weird. Um, I hope you guys check out my main channel if you're into wrestling, Joe Cronin Show. hope you enjoy Monetize This tomorrow night. I hope if you uh, are a patron, look out. I'm going to have a podcast up in the morning for Morning Madness. I also have a Q&A uh, question uh, post for me and Leah. So for me and Leah from Morning Madness, that's up as well. And I will I will use last episode to play us out. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to play that little clip of me and Leah from the last one where we talked about the Boston bombing and where we were during the Boston bombing as I end the show here. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow night. If you didn't get on tonight, call up tomorrow night. We'll try to get you on the show. I'm live all the time. I'm going to have a lot of videos about a lot of different things. Uh, this show is open to everybody, baby. We're super inclusive, but we ain't SJWs either. It's kind of an offensive shit, so you're probably going to get offended tomorrow night. But we talk about conspiracies, comedy, entertainment. We take calls. We drink. The donations roll in. We have a party, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow night. I'll monetize this. Thank you to everybody again, and I will see you tomorrow for that. And now I would like, like I said, to... Uh, End the show with uh, my uh, stream, uh, an episode, uh, this is just a clip, a clip from the uh, corrupt, a uh, clip from Till Death Do Us podcast uh, that me and my wife did recently. We do episodes on Patreon, tons of podcasts on Patreon. I do a bunch of them, a bunch of different themes, a bunch of different stuff. It's all there, whatever the fuck, blah, blah, enjoy it. We See you guys tomorrow night for Monetize This. I skipped work the next day, I think. Or I went to work. If I went to work, I was fucked. Because I stayed oh, yeah. up all night. No, you tried to go to sleep. I woke you up. Super when, uh, chat. Stuff was happening. Party. So I had been Kaylee to Gamer. Bye. I've been watching it all day. Bye, Kaylee. start from the beginning. The beginning is... Okay. Well, we were home. I saw body parts on TV. Is what the I don't remember if we had the marathon. We on. had it on because Did I said, no, I said out loud. I was on YouTube. Kaylee, thank and you. I said, I Salute should go you. down to the marathon and cover it for my channel. And I should go down to the marathon and like take video at the finish line and act weird. And then I was like, ah, never mind. And then a few minutes later, <laughs> never mind. yeah, I changed my mind. I was like, ah, never mind. And then like, it was like, and I had the marathon on in the background. And then like 10 minutes later. I was also listening to the radio. I had the uh, Toucher and Rich or somebody on the radio and or something was on the radio. And then they were like, they started talking like something, an explosion happened or something like that. And uh, I turned around and the, and the mar- marathon was on and I seen people running and the cameras cutting. And what I thought I saw was puddles of blood everywhere on yeah, TV. Yeah, because in the very beginning, 
there was no, they didn't censor anything. Yeah. Nothing was sent. It, it's like, there's like one classic picture that I think a lot of people, um, I think it's, it's one that people would recognize immediately because, uh, it has the guy with the cowboy hat on running next to a wheelchair yeah, yeah, or something or they're, or they're or holding or whatever. This but is before that, you that though. But I, was, I saw like an arm or something. No. Yeah. But cause I was like, I don't think anybody lost an arm before it was, it was like a, it was ripped body. And, and I thought to myself did I just see a ripped, like somebody's body. It was like legs everywhere. It's everybody, and like almost all the injuries you hear about are people missing legs. Because the bomb was low. Yeah. yeah okay. So it was a leg. Maybe they were it was in leg. backpacks. But I remember I saw that first and was like, did I just see a fucking leg or something on TV? What the fuck was that? And that's when I heard on the radio, like there's an explosion. And then it started being like, what the fuck is going on? But yeah, we like turned on the TV and we listen to the scanner all day and all night. But that picture every time they post it now is either blurred out or it's cut off really? so you don't see that bottom part I where have the he, original. he was holding the vein but his his legs are missing but it was crazy because when you saw that go by on the screen and I saw the pictures of it later yeah you didn't even realize what you were looking at like yeah. A lot of it, it was like you didn't realize you were looking at like this. Yeah, a guy holding a vein. It looked horrendous like he was holding, scene. He looked like maybe he was like a hospital worker holding an IV bag or something. Um, by the way, I got to shout out the Mayan Jin Abaddon for uh, becoming a twenty-five dollar patron. And um, and anybody out there listening, by the way, uh, if anybody wants to go up to the producer level and do a podcast or something like that, please message me and let me know what's going on. Um, so I can get you up there and pre harass me about it because I'm forgetting. Okay, please harass me. So, um, yeah, so we heard all that stuff and uh, we pretty much watched the, um, we just, we listened to the scanner all day long, all night, all day long, into the night. And like Leah said, I fell asleep and I said, wake me up if something crazy happens. And the weird thing is before that, though, we heard, you know, we were listening to the scanner and this is like a movie because it was like, you know, police officer killed, MIT, we're on the run, like, suspects on, in this pursuit, like, danger, armed and dangerous, and we're listening to all this stuff, and we're like, this is crazy. And we're watching the news when they did those, like, meetings and those, um, the press conference about seeing who they are and everything. It was so weird that they had figured out who they were, and, like, here's what the, here's the guys that did it. And it was, it was just crazy. It was so fucking crazy. And then at nighttime, I'll never forget. And anybody can dial up the scanner and listen to it. The scanner we listen to is the same one you're going to hear. If it's still on YouTube, it was on YouTube years ago. And if it wasn't on YouTube years ago and nobody could ever find it, I do have it. Because I plugged my phone into the, uh, into the recorder and somewhere I recorded the entire thing. I have about nine hours of scanner content on tape from the Boston bombing. And, uh, you know, they were like a, t a couple towns away. So it were not too far away in a way. So it was like, you know, I mean, we didn't think that they were really going to come anywhere near us, but we still had to listen to make, you know, just to hear like, Hey, where, where are they? You know, cause they, it's not that far away, you know, 20 minutes and they could be in our area in our neighborhood, you know? So, I'm listening to make sure to tell where these people are. Everybody was. And yeah, I, I uh we remember them. We were, uh, the biggest thing that we remember always that we bring this up all the time is th that the news was nowhere near the information the scanner had. So, I start listening to it and it was in um That's not good before bed. Yeah. Um, it was in response, they were responding to the call that, um, you remember, uh, officer, it was, uh, officer Collier, I think, um, the MIT, uh, the MIT security. Yeah. Um, they were responding Super to that. Project. And at first, Party. everything that was coming over the scanner was no indication that it was related at all. Mm -hmm. But I was listening to it anyway, cause it was. Nuts. There's another thing that was happening. Yeah. yeah like now a cop. So I was like, killed. all right, I'll listen to it. But then they started coming hey, over Lee. that um, they believed it was related. Because I think by the time yeah. they found him, he was already, I think he was shot, like he, he killed yeah, immediately. Yeah, they shot him in the back of the head. like. Yeah. And um, that's when they started saying it was like related. And then I listened, I woke you up, I think just in time 
to here where they were um, chasing them, and then you could hear the shootout. Yeah. And then they reported that they had one of the brothers and that one of them was missing. And then so they had the whole, was it Watertown? Yeah. They had Watertown like locked down and they were mm-hmm. searching every, because they went over this part. Yeah. They'd ser- they had, this is when they were doing the crazy. And that's about the time. Manhunt. They then, shut off the scanners because they the were guy, concerned he was listening. They brought him back on though because they brought the scanners back on once that guy morning. said, oh, there's blood in my boat. How come you didn't stop me? Like, I thought you'd be like, shut, what the fuck are you doing? Because the song's funny. (laughs) I'm like waiting (laughs) for you to be like, what the fuck are you doing? And you never did. So that went on way longer than it was supposed to. It was supposed to be like, like maybe 10 seconds. And then you'd be like, what are you doing? The song's funny. It is funny. It's funny. All the covers. I got like nine different covers. I like of it now. It's a pretty good cover. Yeah, it's like two young kids. You know what I think is funny about it too? It's all people in when other you countries. Say young kids? Is it like young kids, or is it because we're like over thirty now? That's like, oh, are young kids, and they're like twenty-one or something. Uh, they look like they're, yeah, maybe they're in their, maybe they're twenty or nineteen. <laughs> they're young. They're. You're these, so old now. No, they're young. They're like. They're like nineteen and twenty, maybe at the most. I would think. They like they look pretty young. Don't you think they look pretty young? No. It's all these people in other countries that actually like Alex Jones now. I don't know if the people that did that song hated him and were trying to, like, make fun of him a bit or if they were trying to, like, if they like him. I have no idea which way that is. God, we're supposed to do a video version of this, too, eventually. We keep forgetting that or something. Realize that? Yeah. It's better. But it's a podcast. But like everyone does it on video now, so well, like if you everyone need to, jumped off a cliff, would you jump off too? No, but you need to have both. I'm telling you, people like the tension span is weird. Well, because audio I podcasts were generally for like uh, driving in the car, out for a walk, maybe put something on while you're taking a shower, or something like that. So you're not really watching the video. Yeah, but the thing is... It's radio. Yeah, but again, like, even though there is a big group for that, that, most podcasts, like, they get discovered now by YouTube. Like, nobody just, not too many people search for random podcasts and find what they're looking for. Most people are on YouTube, and then they're like, okay, now I'm going to go listen to the podcast version of this if I'm getting in my car. Or I or what else does this person do? Hmm. I need a shower and to brush my teeth. I can I just feel gross right now. I need a shower too, but I did brush my teeth, so I'm one up on you. No, I'm really gross right now. I don't know. I'm hot too because that stupid thing was on. I I want to kill the centipede, so you have to put that on. Ew, where is the centipede? It's underneath you. Go eat it. Go eat it and then and then masturbate on it. I hate centipedes. I just like saying weird shit to you. Just go masturbate on the centipede. Ugh. Imagine if you started like touching yourself with the centipede. Oh my god, do you guys remember that time I called the sex line and then I told the girl that I wanted to put my sister on the phone and it was Leah? <clears throat> Remember when I told the sex line people I wanted them to talk to my wife? Remember this? 
naked. I'd put you in a radio flyer. I'd pull you up to the library. I'd take you into the fucking library. Right into the fucking alphabetical section. Fucking, I look for the nonfiction. I pull out the first book I see. I'd open up the book. I'd lay it on your ass. I'd drill a hole in the book and I'd fuck you in the book in the ass. It'd be the biggest fucking trip you ever seen in your fucking life. You talk about the fucking Dewey Decimal System. I'd put the fucking dingle dickhole dildo up your fucking asshole. I'm fucking ready to go. Woo! <laughs> you definitely are the funniest person I've ever spoken to. Oh, I'm the fucking funniest person and the longest person oh, no, you've ever not. spoken to. <laughs> These adult numbers are great. Fuck. I bet. <laughs> well, I definitely like to be fucked in creative ways. My sister, my, let me tell you horse. something. I know this is going to be weird to you at first, but my sister would love to fuck you. Right, sis? Yeah. Why the fuck? <laughs> oh man all right well that's enough fun for tonight for real we're getting out of here now see you tomorrow night on monetize this at 11 p.m eastern time right here in corrupted nation see you guys tomorrow night telling yeah beats justin trudeau did blackface Justin did blackface He did brown and blackface What the hell did he do? It's a disgrace He did blackface Justin Trudeau did blackface Justin Trudeau did blackface Justin Trudeau did blackface What the fuck is going on? Justin did some blackface Yeah, he meant to do brown face But he did that blackface What a fucking disgrace Why'd you do blackface? Why'd you do blackface? Why'd you do blackface? Justin Trudeau, why'd you do blackface? You guys want to hear the rap? You guys want to hear my rap?
I'm really leaving this time, but we're going to go out with Lil Suicide, baby. This is Lil Suicide, everybody. Lil Suicide. This is Lil Suicide with his hit single, I'm a Do Drugs. Good night, everybody. For real, I'm going to bed. Goodbye. You wanna talk about mumble rap? You woe gonna die soon, how about that? Kiss me outside, but you did. Left you on the ground with a broken lip, broken hip, pants unzipped, cause you tried to fuck some little kid. You oh! dumb bitch, you exposed, and now all you do is pay for hoes. I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs. I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs. I'm a new thug, I'm a new thug, I'm a new thug, I'm a new thug, I'm a new thug. I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs, I'ma do drugs. This is how I roll, finger in the hole of a hoe that's on dope. Insert the rope on a rope, pull it out and make a joke. <laughs> me too, movement all over me. Like a disease, no apologies. Take my middle fingers, please. Feel the finger on the fucking trigger squeeze. My generation had more mass shootings, of course. Be careful, I will shoot up your porch. Parents divorced, so I got mad. I shot up the fucking court. Be a good sport, they said. Now they is dead, blood red. Nice family, instead, they bled Fuck Keem Star, that fat ass fucking scum I always hated my mom <laughs> always hated my Fuck mom Fuck you Keem The only reason why I made that joke song was because um, fucking Keemstar was talking shit. So I, I literally did it all for him. So you're welcome, Keem, you fucking asshole. Uh, my name is Joe Cronin. That's Justin Trudeau doing blackface. My name is Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation. I'm I'm leaving. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in hell. See you guys tomorrow night at 11 p.m. I did that for you, Keem. <laughs> about Joe Cronin like I don't I could care less I'm not really a, a fan of Joe Cronin but definitely not a fan he thinks he's Howard Stern and he's got a cool way of talking in the microphone uh, and he's a very shock jock or whatever but I have to explain he looks like a one of those guys that from Long Island that wants to be a white rapper that guy is retarded and uh, yeah, I could care less about him, dude. This is the Epic Voice Guy. You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show.